Good morning to you too. I am standing at the grounds where we do expect those maidens to be making their way after they have um, dropped or laid their reeds uh, at uh, Enyogeni Royal Palace where uh, the, his, um, his Majesty uh, King Mrs Zulu will be meeting them um, and uh, then having his address at this very venue that I'm standing at. I just want to stand out of shot and just show you uh, some of the preparations that are underway. Um, 
we do see that the maidens um, are still making preparations um, just below the field, um, uh, just further back below the field. Uh, some of them we did see making their way up. I did have managed to have a conversation with them um, and they have indicated to me that they were uh, making their way up to meet um, Inko Sazana or the royal representative, a member of the family who will be leading um, that read dance uh, when they make their way up to Enyogeni uh, Palace. Uh, but we do uh, expect the program to begin at 10 o'clock this morning um, when they have concluded the ceremonies, uh, the first leg of the ceremonies where uh, we earlier broadcasted with my colleague uh, Mongani Gemma. They will be making their way up with their reads as we have indicated and then they will be making their way back into um, these grounds uh, where they will be addressed uh, by their king as well as um, in attendance by under other dignitaries as well as delegates as well as uh, members of the public um, but hopefully we do manage to have a conversation with more members of the public especially uh, the parents or the family members um, of these um, maidens who have come out in their numbers yesterday we received uh, numbers uh, ranging from 40 to 60 of the buses that were making their way here but we have seen far more numbers than what we were told yesterday and we are still yet to uh, speak to representative from the Guazulu Natal uh, provincial government um, about the preparations that were underway um, how they are feeling their remarks about today's event as well as uh, the statement that we saw being issued yesterday but um, that is it from me Lebo I'm just going to hand over to my colleague Bongani Kema who has more for us. Well, thank you again. We are still here waiting for the maidens to return from the field where they are fetching the reeds. As you can see, you're still bustling, many of them. I mean, they love the camera. They are proud of what they are wearing. They are proud of what they have achieved. Yes, they are here to celebrate. We've been hearing, you know, their minders, you know, and other maidens throughout the day, you know, saying that today is their day to celebrate their accomplishment. That's for a year now. You know, they've, been, they've remained uh, virgin. But, you know, there's been been those stories there's been there's sorry there's been there's there's been sorry sorry oh sorry the, sorry 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 excuse me excuse me sorry sorry pardon for this pardon for this i was saying before we were interrupted by the happy maidens you know we've been saying that you know why these maidens are, are coming here you know but they are still men you know being part of this why cannot be only be maidens who who are here to be with the king listen to their king addressing them others saying that why are boys you know not going through a similar you know tradition you know where they are being taught you know how to behave as young boys i have with me a zulu historian ukaya nduandwe who's going to be speaking to us a bit more you know about the Zulu traditional, traditional practices, you know, uh, that are in place to make sure that, you know, young boys also, you know, uh, keep themselves pure uh, and also, you know, behave accordingly in society. Kaya, we thank you very much uh, for joining us here at the SAPC. Kaya, while we were standing here, we saw regiments, you know, coming in. While this is uh, a ceremony for, for young girls, why do, do regiments who are men, have to be here. Eh angibonga ngibingelele emfuethu siyabonga kakhulu ukuthi egcineni kosuku umkhosi ugcine ube lapha. Into eyenza ke ukuthi eh kube khona ke nabantu besilisa la ibutho ibutho lize ngeyigabe imbili la ziyingane zebutho lezi zizoba zobheka ukuthi iphephile yini. Uma ngabe ke isilo sesokwamukela umhlanga sizophuma phakathi esigodlweni jobu sibona nje na ibutho ilona eliphelekezela isilo nelihamba nesilo bezoya kwamukela umhlanga kulezi imbalwe ibona njengamanje. Ngicela manje siye osikweni labafana ukuthi Sebon in Tombi, Zinum Kosom Sanga in Tombi, Ziasola in Tombi, Zamba, or Ante by Sloba, Abba Sola and Asima Kayas, Fundiswe, Bogi Pasa Gota, a Sisa Luson Abafana Bonaba Fundiswa, Ninus by Pasaranjan in Paratin. A Likon and Elabafana, which in Obaxangana, we get two egg and Labafana, we all boot to Ibut, Litatel Velling, Aleluka, Malapa Corner, Bebula Linkun Zemyama, Ilapoga in Sisua Kona, Suga Zizo Butua Corner, Zizoya, Rangensola, Pes by in a school train. Nas. Ziliba kwa na lopo kwa takba mkosi Wogwe shuwa maktuwe zizo butu ibutu Jehova ni nito mbije na zosazu Kutaba zale 
ngo 1926 ikhona ngumdaba kube khona neyintombizo yengcuce nazo ngisilo namhlanje benga singabanikeza igama kuthiwe buthulini kusuke la kulonyaka kuya kulonyaka abe silisake nabo ikhona indima bayidlalayo kakhulu bayabizwa nabo bezoyalwa belulekwe nabo bese benikezwa igama lebutho uma ngabe sebeqedile ikuthi ngoba ke cishe bona be indaba abaligamisi kakhulu nanokuthi abe silisake emhlabe nje ngemisigema aba baninga abantu besifazana abaninga futhi ke bona bayibona baphethe imbiyo abantu besifazana yingakho ke nibe yalwa kakhulu neyitsizwa nazo ziyalithola lelo thuba lokuyalwa zinikezwe nebutho mina nje ibutho la ngikuda kwakusutha ngabuthwa lapha ezatsenyokeni ubaba waminana ukwangikhazela eqaleni ukuthi nazo iintombi zinalo ibutho lazo zinako futhi ukuhlukana ngegaba ngicela uphe nosichazene iintombi zinokwehlukana nje ukuba bona nje bebangaka nje fe bekhona amantombazane bese bekhula benge nesigabeni somtombi sebebizwa ngamatshitshike lapho sebekhulile lapho ke sebeqala sebeyalwa khona umeselo eseqomile ke futhi ungena kwesinye isigaba nemvunulo yabo ayifani ngokuba bona nje beka nje iyehluka hluka imvuno imvunulo yabo baba neyigaba ngiyakhumbu ukuthi sile esabuzile umhlokombane khona ka abanikeza ibutho kwakuthiwa ibuhlalo nabo banamabuthabo ngokwe igaba zakhona njoba bekhona nje lapha ba belong to the certain group ngoba bekhona nabo kungenzeka mhlawumbi isilo masithandile sibanikeze igama lebutho njoba sazi ke intombi zengcuce nje na ezaduma kakhulu kwakuthiwa ikancelwa amakhehla sema kakhulu ndandwe that is quite kayan ndandwe uh, the zulu historian specifically was just speaking us about the zulu tradition called called um, kosu workshwama where young boys are also taking through the same process of teaching them life skills making sure that they treat themselves accordingly in society let me link now to my colleague jade lee pulsa who's also on standby a line dropped <laughs> All right, as technology would have it, it seems that we have lost the line to Jade Lee Pulsa, but we will definitely try and go back to her in a bit. Uh, for now, though, let's take a quick ad break, and what we'll also do uh, this morning, we'll see if we can't cross to our reporter, Dumela Machoho, who's... Their reads to the King of Amazulu Nation, King Misizulu Gazwelitini. Security has been beefed up at the Enyogeni Royal Palace and surrounding areas. Royal Family spokesperson Prince Tulani Zulu says Umkos Wumtlanga is also used as a prayer for the nation. 
United States President Joe Biden met with South Africa's Cyril Ramaphosa.
Well, thank you, Lebs. Now, close to 50,000 young maidens are ascending on the Amazulu Royal Palace of Enyogeni in Guanongoma this weekend. They are part of the annual reed dance hosted by the Amazulu King, Misuzulu Kazuelitini. It will be his second reed dance ceremony in as many weeks. The first was held in Guavuma, north of the province. And to help us unpack today's proceedings, we still have on the line, uh, or on Zoom rather, uh, retired lecturer and cultural expert Ndela Njangas. Babi Njangas, thank you so much for staying with us. You are welcome. Now, just uh, continuing in our conversation with regards to the relevance of the Reed Dance Ceremony and, uh, you know, the take of other cultural and uh, social political organizations. For, for instance, the World Health Organization has said that the, culture, the, the, the cultural practice of virginity testing and ultimately the Reed Dance Ceremony is actually unscientific, harmful to young girls and is a violation of uh, young girls' rights. What is your take with regards to uh, how such organizations view cultural practices? I believe the people who are practicing this, these young people, they do have a choice of their, of, of their own. Like I have emphasized earlier on that this is done by choice. So they are at liberty as well. If, they, if it works for them, this virginity testing, then so be it. I don't think it is fair for someone who is as far away as the, the organizations that we are talking about. Sometimes we have never done any research, or perhaps we are not aware that they've done any research uh, or, or as such, that this is not good. So, but the people themselves, they do have a choice. It's, it is within their right as well, if they want to practice this, their culture. So let them do that. And even in the constitution of South Africa, the culture, it is, it is also allowed that each and every uh, nation or tribe, if they want to practice, practice their cultural thing and their religion, it is also allowed. So I don't think, therefore, that people should worry much about them if they say whatever they want to say. In my opinion, they don't know much more what is the importance of this virginity testing. Mm -hmm. It is not only the virginity testing that is, that is an, an issue here. Also, the children, or rather the girl, young girls, in their respective areas, they are also taught how to behave well. They are given some advices. They are told where to refrain, abstain from doing this, this one you may do, so that you become a very, very good uh, mother when you are old. I think this, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that, because it is within their right and within their choice if they want to do that. All right, Mr. Jangas, I'm going to ask you again to stay on the line. Uh, we'll continue our conversation, but uh, for now, we'll leave you there and uh, we'll cross back to Enyogen Royal Palace in Guanongoma. And my colleague, Jade Lipolza, is standing by. Very good morning to you, Jade. Thank you so much uh, for staying with us. And I see it's now becoming a hive of activities as thousands and thousands of girls are now descending on the Royal Palace. What do you have for us? Well, a very good morning to you, Sam. And you know, throughout the morning, we've been showing you the color, the festivity. Uh, we heard from Nosipo who showed us the preparations that are also underway to make sure that this is a very smooth transition, that the ladies and the maidens make their way to uh, the royal palace where they will be um, following that first maiden who's going to give um, the king the first read. But we've been talking shop, we've been talking about color, we've been speaking to maidens. Mongani's also been speaking to maidens in you know asking them the significance of today i want to go into the relevance as well because i i imagine many that are watching back at home want to understand this more and want to also unpack it with us so i am joined by a cultural expert who's going to do this for us on the ground here and she's been doing this for many many years i know that you're also speaking to cultural experts but she has been walking with these maidens year in year out and she'll be telling us with regards to the process and how it's all put together. Thank you so much for joining us on SABC News, Mam Noma Gugu Ngobese. I first want to go into the relevance of having the reed dance in the 21st century. Some would say that it's an archaic um, way of doing it. What do you say to those? Wow. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I must say, it is so significant in this 21st century while we are facing so much social ills 
and especially the young people. There is rape, there is uh, molest molestations of, of young women and old women in fact. And um, yes, some people are, they say it is controversial, it is controversial to them, not to us. Because as Zulus, as Sutus, as vendors, as Botswanas, we have the way of upbringing our own children. We've got the rituals which are the part of puberty. And where certain norms and values are instilled to the growing up. So uh, someone can argue because people want to argue. You cannot change your surname under no circumstances. Culture is your nose, is your surname. So the moment you change your culture, the moment you are going to, to, to cry at the end of the day because you lose who you are. And there's a lot of things which goes with that history. As it is here, we are facing a very good history of the His Majesty the King. You, you, you see what has happened to empower his a legacy. The negativity that was, was thrown to him ha have made him to be popular more than before, which we like most. And we are here to, 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 to enjoy that. And the maidens, after two years, uh, no read dance, they are here to, to, to revive themselves. And we are happy that they were not pregnant because they wouldn't be like the men as they are right now. And um, I, I'm just uh, saying to the people out there, if a white uh, girl wants to be here, to be inspected, let her, let her, let her, because she likes himself. It's not a shame because this is a natural phenomenon from God the Creator. And my, my God is not he or she. People must understand it. Because if it's he and if it is she, she will lose. As we see that many men are out of their house, their homes right now. God cannot change. Is a, is a my Vilnangi cannot be compared and contrasted with anything above or under. And all the creation is from the God, not from him. So we are here to celebrate nature with these natural girls, natural things, beautiful things, their body, they are sparkling. You, you can see. So they are full of life. And so what? And I just want to come in there. So we see this re-dance take place and it, you were saying that it was a two-year hiatus. We never had that for two years because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that they're coming together. So they're seeing their friends. There's a lot of excitement oh, yes. in the air. But I want to ask, you know, you, you're saying that this is also helping with social ills, yes. that it's combating that, that you're also grooming and teaching the young girls how to behave um, and also grooming them how to to, to, to to, to, to carry themselves in society, right? But what about the young boys? Should there not be something equally for them if we're talking about young girls going through this process? Yeah, yeah. You know, when I have been employed at the Premier's office maybe nine years ago, I told them that something must be done for boys. Because in South Africa, boys are not loved at all. There are no programs. And of course, uh, we are doing, we are busy with the girls. What are the men doing with the boys? Always, they always ask us, but the, the girls, of course we must have the girls because they are giving birth for the, the children that they don't even know their fa fathers because of rape. So we need boys to be involved here. And we are here as this institution, Nomkubulwan, to help those men who can see the need, because there is a need. You cannot tell me in South Africa that when you groom a boy, you are grooming him to go to jail. That is in insane, I'm sorry to say that, but it's, it's quite right. We are not giving love to the boys. The state itself don't love boys. I've been saying this many days. And they establish men's forum. Men's forum for what? You can teach uh, someone who is married. You can teach him to be morally correct. How could you? Because you must start at the young age. And that's the 
South Africa have failed with moral regeneration. And I'm asking myself, whose morals are where? Who caused this? And I can tell you why. The government, the, the Department of Education, they hate these girls. All over the girls think maybe one, there is pregnancy school, in schools. Pregnancy is allowed. There are condoms are allowed. For who is killed they are there? You know, when you look at culture, culture, you abstain, you, you, you are educated, you must learn. I've got, I've got teachers here, I've got nurses, I've got, you know, a lot of carriers. But the problem is, you know, there is clash between the, the Department of, 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 of Education and Culture. And unfortunately, since 1994, we didn't enjoy any culture. They do this, this festival, not that they like. You know, it's because they want the world outside to see as if they are with the people. Why pregnant? Why the grants of those who are having children? Thank you so much for your time, Mum Ngobesi. That was cultural experts. I mean, very fascinating, very interesting. And I also just want to make mention to Lani behind the camera can show you before I hand over back to studio that the white beads signify purity. And we've been seeing a lot of color, but it's also um, good to know that, you know, the white beads signify purity. And what does the black bead signify? Very quickly, Mama. You know, the black beads we have just uh, blended to showcase that we are women. Mm. We cannot wear white. So we respect white for maidens okay. only. Okay, well, there you have it. That was the cultural expert, Namagugu Ngobese. We're going to go back to Yusim in studio. All right, Jade, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. Jade Laposa there uh, is at uh, the Enyo General Palace in Guanongoma. And we're still...
Kuno Chadi. Go with it.
Bakezio, Bata Bakezio, Conasio Sala Sokum Rota, Canada Mama Veneta Subu, Sinko Tepeshea, Napobato Bacola Megan, and Tampi, Evoganga Masane, Studio? Yes, hi, studio. I'm standing by, you couldn't hear me. Oh, no, I responded. <laughs> so. Yes, studio, hi. Yes, indeed, Bongi. Well, you remember that's when I spoke with Umta Nutsulani, I raised a question with him that I was seeing more private security, security guards than police officers because he had, in fact, yesterday said there uh, will be more police officers here. But I can but tell I can you, tell you, you, know, you know, I've been standing here uh, for the better part of, 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 of this morning and day, and I've seen a huge number of police officers making their way in and out of the royal household. So I can confirm that indeed, you know, our security measures have been beefed up. It doesn't seem like, you know, there's anything threatening that is going to take place here. I mean, we've been here the whole morning. No one, you know, who, who, who's, who's, who's been posing a threat to the royal house has made their way in here. In fact, you know, standing here, you can see security officers here. I don't know if you can see behind the maidens who are standing here. There are uh, about 10 of them. Security officers joined by other police officers here. And there's another, you uh, know, heavy vehicle of police 
police vehicle that is standing outside the gates, Bongiwe. So that just shows you, you know, that's they were telling the truth when they said that, you know, they will be bringing in more security officers and police officers to make sure that, you know, this particular dance is protected. You remember that the ANC also in the province released a statement, you know, saying that they want they want the provincial commissioner of the police and Peggy Kelly to make sure that you know the number of police officers that are here, a station here, are enough to make sure there's no threat is going to be posed to this particular dance, Bongyu. Now, uh, Bongani, I don't know if you're able to just to give us a sense of the song that is sung by Amajiji Lapo around you, if we are able to just bring the viewers some kind of color uh, that is happening just near you. So, so indeed, when you're there, very excited. Well, my just sang the line. I'm just really going to pull out the bass and the babugele makai. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, bonga, fu manga, tanda, go to show me si le wane le mante. calling for a lost love they want their love to be returned back to them that's basically what the song is saying bongi they are very excited bongi they are dressed very very colorfully i mean you saw me earlier you know they nearly dragged me to the ground that's how excited they are bongi but let me take you to my colleague jade Pulsar, who's on standby I'm at I'm at the where the maidens are actually singing hymns and I actually wanted to ask them what songs and what meanings do they have? Is it any particular song that you have to sing um, at a read dance ceremony? I am joined by Andile Longfundo and Samuel. They're gonna be just talking to us about that. Andile, thank you so much for joining us. They are from the University of Zululand. When it comes to songs and the choice of songs by maidens, talk to us about the importance of the lyrics and what the songs actually mean. Um, hi to everyone. Uh, the songs that we, we sing, most of them are for inspiring, inspiring virgins, inspiring people. Uh, one of the songs I can touch to is um, this one they're singing right now. It means that I'm going to succeed a virgin. Yes, that's what it means because uh, most of us here at University of Zealand, some of us are working now, they have succeeded. Uh, I'm one of them, I'm working now, but I'm also studying at University of Sweden. I'm doing my master's this year, so it means that I am going to succeed. Uh, one of the other songs I can touch to is this one that says, uh, I'm the one who chose to, to stay your virgin. I'm the one who chose this journey, you see, because uh, all, um, after all, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy to stay your virgin. It's not easy with this journey, but um, we're still here. We've seen ourselves, and yeah, it's going so well. Thank you. And Andile, how important is support? Support from the family and the community um, in you know following this journey. Uh, the importance of um, the uh, family yes, support. I would say it's very important because um, we're still studying. We do not have money. We need uh, we need our parents to support us with money to buy infunulo and everything because it's very costing. But. Um, what, what I would say is that it's very important to be supported by the family because there are things that are being said outside the world. You know, you see the things that people are saying about virgins, all of bad things. But we do need to, 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 to have shoulders to cry on our parents. Yes.
and the community I'll say it is important but I must say it's not something that we get much from the community the support because you know what people say <laughs> but yeah <laughs> and you are leading these maidens so before I let you go and chat to Nomfundo and Samu can you lead us with song as you go. Nomfundo and Samo, thank you so much for joining me ladies. So I want to talk about the breaking of barriers. So obviously a lot of people are saying that you know maidens are basically or not basically but some are really feeling forced to preserve their purity in order to attend the read dance and you know just listening to Andile there she was saying no she's, she's, she's educated she wants to partake in the ceremony. Talk to us about your experiences. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me here. I'm Nomfundo. Uh, well, I can say I'm not being pressured to come here. It's what I choose to be, to be a virgin. It's what I choose to be. Like, it's like being a doctor. It's what I choose to be. It's something that you like. Yes. Being a virgin is one of my sequels. So I am a virgin. And yes, I'm proud to be a virgin. That's all I can say. I, no one is pushing me to be a virgin. It's what I chose to be. Because I know myself. I know where I'm going from. Yes, that's all I can say. Thank you, Nampundu. And Samu, what about you? How proud are you to be here? I imagine your family are also very proud to have you partaking. And um, how many years have you been coming to the Read Dance? I know for the past two years now we had COVID, so there was disruptions. Talk to us about your experience. Um, thank you. It's been more than five years because I started in high school. So being here after everything that has happened, COVID, so I'm proud that I'm still here. I'm proud, yeah, that it's still, I can make it. And joining with your friends, because a lot of the girls are telling me that, you know, I've seen so many of my friends from other provinces, because a lot of people have come from all, all over the country. Yeah. So um, what I, we find joy here. We find a lot of joy. That's why we keep on coming here. We are not forced. We are here because we know what are the benefits of being here. You know, it's a very good self-introspection and self-reflection. And before I let you go, what are those benefits? If you can just tell the viewers back at home. Um, you, it's where you are keeping away yourself from many pressure. For like having a baby at an early age. Even if you do have money, even if you are working, you still feel the pressure if you are not married. At least if you are married, the father is here. Because nowadays, they run away a lot. So even if you are working, you still feel the pressure of being a single parent. The, per the pressure is always there. So those, that's the best benefits, I can say. Yeah. That's very true. I share the, your sentiments. You know, just listening to the basic Minister of Education, um, Andrew Motseka, also releasing those stats. Thank you so much, uh, Sam. Releasing those stats in 2021, 2022, 90,000 young girls between the ages of 10 and 18 had fallen pregnant. So quite astounding um, statistics coming on. Also just listening to the maidens and how their points of view because this is a topical issue and we are covering it from all angles, making sure that we give you solid information that's coming from the ground. But I'm going to go back to the maidens and let them play out with their songs. It is all about the music. So all about the music. <laughs> you in studio.
That's uh, Jade Paul, so they're coming to us uh, live from uh, In Your Game. Yeah. And you, you're listening to, you know, one of the songs that uh, the, the maidens sing. They say, They're saying that this is their choice uh, to be virgins because ultimately this event is about purity. It's about preserving their virginity. And there have been, of course, concerns that they may be forced into this. And uh, they're saying that, no, it is actually their choice and saying that uh, they're going to really succeed as virgins and this is one of those events that would have been used over time by the late King Goodwill Zelutiriga Peguzulu as a way of speaking to young women, talking to them about the preservation of you know their virginity, talking to them about teenage pregnancy. We're seeing stats are soaring now and let's stay with this uh, particular conversation and bring in uh, Dr. Kuku Mazibugo uh, just to talk to us uh, from a cultural expert perspective as to the significance of what this event what does it mean and these you know maidens talking to us about their choices that they're making is it something that you know is of significance as well because given the conversations that are currently taking place about umkoso umhlanga doctor thank you so much for your time this morning let's start with the significance of this event because a, a, a number of people sometimes do not understand
six to come forward because my receiver is gonna catch. He's the one who's supposed to be on the
Sabela, we have been 
Presenting their reads, and earlier on we saw is in your see. Um, you look at the fact that there was in your see, yes, um, the late King Kutul Zuliti Nigape Guzulu, Obabum Sledge, in your see, um, Sledge, there as we were seeing, um, you know, is in your and the significance of this thereof is something we're going to be touching on with Dr. Kukuma's book. But I'd like to bring in Jade, um, if she is still with us, Jade, if you are able to hear us, I mean, we're seeing the, the, the maidens also. So some of them you were talking to a little earlier on. Talk to us about what you can see from your vantage point. I'm standing, I'm standing right in front of Amabuto. But you know, if we look at the history of the reed dance, Bongi, it's really steeped in our history. Um, it's steeped in our history and the rise of the Zulu Kingdom. Thousands of people, even tourists alike, traveled to KwaZulu-Natal to witness this ceremony. And it really started with the great King Shaka. This reed dance festival has been celebrated by so many generations over the years 
And it really started in 1984 and has been revived by the late Queen Regent, Queen Mantomvi, who said that no, the young girls need to be able to attend the Reed Dance. And she was the one that was instrumental in this. So according to Zulu tradition, only virgins are permitted to take part in this festival to ensure that they are ritually pure. And most of these young girls that we are witnessing on our screens, they undergo virginity testing before coming to the Reed Dance. And after the inspection, the girls are given certificates or marked with clay spots on their faces to recognize their status. Bongi, I'm just gonna let the Nat sound play and listen to Amabuto. So, Bongi, in recent times, the king used the Reed Dance Festival as an opportunity to educate the Zulu nation and, in particularly, the youth, focusing on vital societal issues such as practicing sexual morals and behaviors. And really, by paying tribute to the king in this way, the Zulu nation, represented by the young women carrying those reeds that we are seeing on our screens, they really bestow on the king the symbolic power to rule over the Zulu kingdom and its royal subjects in the year to come. And uh, Amabuto, um, essentially known as Ingubo, uh, Yesilo, you, you, you can almost uh, get a sense of, you know, what they're doing here, Bentalela. You know, just, just that moment, this is so powerful. And as we were talking to, um, you know, Dr. Mazbogo, who will go back to just talk about the significance of this moment. But let's listen in um, first before we even continue um, with some of what we are seeing here. So Bongi, um, to demonstrate his gratitude, once the king comes here, later on he will respond with a sacrifice to the royal ancestors on behalf of all the young women and the communities throughout the kingdom. And usually an animal is offered, um, usually a cow, so that will will happen as well but where we are right now the maidens are making their way to Enyokeni royal palace they will then be led by the first maiden who will then present her read to his majesty king mrs zulu kwazilitini 
and then thereafter the maidens will come in groups and perform a song and dance for the king and make their way back to the grounds where he will deliver his address to his subjects. And Jade, one of the things that, uh, you know, we, we, we were also talking about earlier on is just how excited the maidens are to be part of this, uh, you know, ceremony, not only over the fact that it's been, you know, a two-year hiatus, uh, they haven't been able to do it, but just how for them it's a sense of pride to say that uh, they are preserving their virginity. And you can see there, um, I, I think, if I am able to see correctly, that is Police Minister um, Begi Kele. And, of course, it also talks to the uh, security in this uh, particular palace, as has been, um, you know, one of the concerns over time. You think of statements that were also released um, in the lead-up to this uh, particular event. So, uh, listening to a conversation that Bongani Kema would have uh, heard, uh, you know, had earlier on uh, during... Uh, the morning live with Umtwana Utulani Zulu talking about how it's important that the uh, law enforcement uh, authorities make sure that this event is safe and even the statement from the provincial government talking about how nothing um, will go wrong and everyone who takes part in this event will be um, you know pre preserved they'll be safe and saying that they're satisfied that it's all systems go and 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 Jade that's been the picture that we've seen um, you know, in, in the lead up to this particular event, different statements being banded about and the uh, Guazul Natal government as well coming out to also dispel some of what we've been seeing in the public domain. That's very true, Bongi. I think there was a lot of concern about whether the redance this year would take place at Enyokeni Royal Palace. There were talks about it moving to Kwakangela. And this was all dispelled yesterday with government releasing their statement saying that, no, it will go ahead. It is being supported. It is a, um, supported by government and there will be, uh, you know, MECs in attendance. There will be government officials in attendance and there is no, there's no such that it will be moved. And that stems from the, the simmering tensions that are, you know, playing out in the, the royal palace. And we, we, we've, we've, we've been covering this blow by blow. Bongani Gema has been on the ground speaking to Prince Tulani, who has also said that they will definitely have it this year at Enyogeni Royal Palace. It's been held here for so many years, Bongi. So to really move this ceremony to any other palace would really just be a, a disgrace, not number one, but also a slap in the face of His Majesty King Mrs. Zulu Kwasibilitini. So they really just said that it will go ahead. And there were, there were concerns last night. There were concerns that, um, you know, there could possibly be disruptions of any nature this morning. But I can tell you that there is a heavy contingent of police. They've been out in their numbers since, this, since early hours of this morning. The visuals that you are seeing on your screen right now is the first group of maidens arriving at the Royal Palace with their reeds. You can see that group making their way inside and they will be led by one of the first maidens she is always from the royal family it's always been like that throughout the years one of the royal maidens will be leading she will give her read over to his majesty and thereafter several of the other groups of maidens they will come through, they will also put down their reed in front of His Majesty, perform a dance and then head on down to the grounds. Now we're not yet sure what time that is expected to start. I do see them at the gate so they possibly will be making their way up to where they will be placing their reeds on the ground. But stay with these visuals and we will take you through this beautiful ceremony. That is the read dance. And uh, Jade, uh, of course, I'm not alone in studio. Mkolisi is here and has been marveling 
uh, to what uh, we are just seeing, um, you know, all, all, all this beauty, but at the same time, uh, talking about how some serious, um, you know, conversations also take place in the lead up uh, to to this particular event. Now, Olisi, uh, you know, one of the things that you and I were talking about is just how this is not just about song and dance, uh, but it's also just about, you know, some serious challenges that are also facing, um, you know, young women in this country. Indeed, and that's correct, Bungiu. And I think one of my greatest takeouts from some of the conversations that you've had uh, throughout the course of this morning, even with the doctor there, you know, she spoke about how this is not just about merely, uh, uh, you know, going through a rite of passage, but it is also about young women going through a journey and reflecting on the strides that they've made as young women. In point of them coming to Enyok Eni Royal Palace to set up service providers coming to set up and the tents being set up at the showground. So there has been these these talks and these allegations that have surfaced and you know one when it comes to the royal matters one will, will, will suppose never really get um, to the, the, the matter of fact but these are what both sides have told us. Now looking at the screen right now and the visuals that are taking place. I think many back at home also, Clolisi, just wants to know why is it called the reed dance when it is all about purity? Well, just a little bit of information there. The festival takes its name from the riverbed reeds, uh, which is a, a central focus of this event. And those reed sticks that you are seeing swaying on your screens right now. They are carried in a procession by thousands of young maidens and we've been watching this on our screens. And basically it is to honour honor young women who have been invited to take part in the reed dance, um, but also a source of great dignity and pride for their families and communities. And Bongi touched on that, talking about the pride and talking about the purity and what it means for a young girl and also the social issues 
that we as a country are faced with. Not um, just recently, in fact, we received stats from the basic minister Andy Mucheka saying that in the year 2021, March to 2022, about 90,000 young girls from the ages of 10 to 18 years of age fell pregnant. So those numbers are really alarming. And just speaking to the maidens and speaking to those that are leading this procession, they are saying that in as much as people or some people are saying this is still an archaic way of, of looking at tradition, they are saying that this is a way of also combating and fighting those social ills that we as South Africa are faced with, but also preserving the tradition and the customs that they have. Indeed, and that is very interesting. I think, Bongi, this is this is where we also reflect on how this particular festival is also, you know, an occasion for the young women uh, to also showcase their other talents, such as singing, dancing, beadwork, the fruits of many months of excitement and preparation. And, re and in recent times, Bongi, I think the king has also used this particular uh, Reed Dance Festival as an opportunity to educate the Zulu nation and particularly the youth focusing on vital you know social issues such as practicing sexual morals and behaviors which prevent teenage pregnancy and lower the risk of contracting HIV AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases but Bongi also another interesting layer to this was the contentious issue of where this particular read dance would be happening because I remember just before we went on air we were busy talking about where uh, you know how important where this particular ceremony is being held since Enyogen is the actual ancestral home of the king. And uh, uh, you know, only see when one really uh, thinks about the significance of this.
Um, which could also signal that uh, the king 
um, will be making his way, um, you know, to the Enyogeni Palace as, of course, they go ahead of him as um, Dr. Kuku Mazibugo was uh, telling us. And um, Dr. Mazibugo, w one of the things is that, you know, that, that we hear when it comes to each and every single ceremony, you, you, you listen to the songs that are, are being sung here. And earlier on, we were talking about, you know, songs that show the pride of these, um, you know, maidens as they talk about how proud they are to preserve their virginity. And, um, and, and also just before we broke away, we were also talking, you know, listening to them singing, and that is a song that is really widely known. Let's talk about the significance of the choice of song that, you know, is also being made ahead of this event. Uh, as Amazulu, uh, it, it's one nation that um, uh, it, it embraced uh, singing, dancing, um, chanting, uh, and, 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 and other uh, kinds of uh, entertainment. Uh, but uh, Amahubo, let, 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 let me say Amahubo. Mm -hmm. Amahubo are very significant uh, in the Zulu nation because in each and every uh, ceremony or event, there is a special uh, ihubo that is being, um, uh, that, 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 that is um, sung in that uh, ceremony or event. However, when it comes to umkosom uh, sang, there are basic ama amahubo that are, are being sung like uya um, memezugandaba. But we go say because that is uh, it, that that ihubo it brings back uh, the 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 fact that the king uh, is the one of Ushang and the the maidens are carrying uh, Ushang and there's also another song that 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 is always being sung during uh, the written ceremony. Uh, we, 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 which goes like umshanga uh, ubigwengani ubigwengengomu because uh, the maidens are always looking forward to, uh, to go to the palace to present their um, the, the, their read uh, and uh, they know that the king already informed the the nation's ancestors about um, the the fact that they will be coming and bringing uh, and handing over their rates however each and every year because there are different social ills there are different issues that take place uh, in 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 different uh, parts of uh, the nation uh, sometimes they compile a uh, new uh, amahubo or new songs uh, for that particular uh, umshanga i remember when um the government uh, started the 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 grant money for for for, for the child grant money uh, the, the 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 maidens were furious and they composed a song that was talking to government uh, to stop what government is doing because government is encouraging them uh, to 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 have babies so that the government can reward them uh, with a social with 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 that grant uh, for for children so uh, it depends uh, uh, on what is taking place on the the social is we know that now uh, there's femicide uh, there's gender-based violence so if you listen uh, carefully uh, to the songs that are being sung there uh, you will find that they always carry a heavy message even for amabud as we have already said it's because um, uh, in the past, uh, the, 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 when there the, the was um, Amabuto were gathered, they will, because they, they defend their nation. So when they say Gwanyaga Zimkondo, it's because those were the songs that, that, those were the songs that were sung when uh, they were going out to defend the nation. So it's not that the, they are not provoking any, anyone or provoking anything. However, they are passing the message that they are there to pro protect the nation because it's their role as Amabuto uh, to protect the nation.
Dr. Mazibogo, thank you so much for staying with us. I know you have to go. I wish that uh, you and I were able to sing because when you talk about that song, we are Zogandaba, it's such a powerful song and one wishes that they could sing and we could sing it for the viewers. But let me thank you for your time. Perhaps Professor Mgomezulu might be able to sing it for us, but let me thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it and don't take it lightly as you spend some time just taking us through what we were seeing. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much.
watching the reeds right now that are you know just about to be delivered to the king uh, the significance of this particular uh, moment here talk us through it no uh, culture evolves over time there is no culture that is stagnant right now we're, we're using a dual system whereby a uh, culture uh, tradition and then modernity match what then normally happens is that uh, there are certain practices that are not necessarily part of the old tradition or the old culture of the Zulu people, but then we embrace them along the way. Like this moment of silence is not something that has been done uh, in Zulu history or in Zulu culture, but because it's a practice that is now uh, accepted as common practice, then we do that. Like for instance, we, we would have seen this whenever there are um, uh, matches, soccer matches, or any sporting uh, game for that matter, if there's been an event that happened where a number of lives were lost, either through pandemics like COVID-19 or any some, or anything of the sort, they will then have a moment of silence. Or if a high-profile individual is passed on uh, in the past couple of weeks or couple of days, they will then have a moment of silence. So then what then the, the Zulu um, uh, king is doing then is to try and incorporate a modernity uh, into these cultural practices and make sure that these things happen. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, all you do is to follow the practice as it has been done for many years, whereby you slaughter a, a cow, basically introducing this event to the ancestors, and then on the day, you then have the proceedings the way we have seen them. But then, of course, as I say, you will now and then see some slight deviations from the old practices in an attempt to make sure that uh, a modernity and culture converge uh, at some point to make sure that uh, you are basically aware of your surroundings and not just being rigid in your cultural practices. So now, Prof, this, of course, interestingly, for some of our viewers that are not aware, but this marks the second leg of the Reed Dance, with the first one that was held on the 3rd of September in Guavuma. This is what would call what someone would call rather the main event so why are there two of these reed dances okay this is not part of culture Mto. basically what happened you may recall that in 1982 uh, there was something called the land deal between the apartheid government and the kingdom of Eswatini, which was then called the kingdom of swaziland under king sopuza the second and the agreement basically entailed that King Sopoza was going to kick out all the liberation fighters who were operating from Eswatin. And in return, he was going to be given land uh, that currently belonged to South Africa, that is part of Mbumalanga and then in Wavuma, where I come from. But then, because the late Zulu king, King Kutuili Zulitini, uh, uh, argued that in fact in Wagma falls under Guazulu, he then uh, deliberately went to build a palace at Emakobe in, uh, in Wavum. So that is how then uh, the history of that particular palace uh, came into being. So it wasn't something that was pre-planned, but it came into being as a result of an event that, is, that had happened in 1982. So you now have a, a, a Matobeni at Ngwavoma as one of uh, the palaces uh, of, the royal, uh, of the royal house. What then happened, because of the distance between Ngwavoma and Nongoma, and also given uh, the nature of the roads in between, there were fears that uh, you might find a number of maidens losing their lives either on their way to Enyogeni or on their way back. There was then a request that was sent to the late king, King Kutuil Zolitini, saying that I would request that we have an event at Matobeni as opposed to transporting these maidens to Enyogeni. That is how then you have that particular event. It's not supposed to be a precursor to the main one. It is in fact part of the main event that takes place at Enyogeni, but the difference is that uh, these maidens from Ngwavuma will then no longer have to travel all the way from Ngwavuma to Enyogeni. They then, they, they then have their own event at Ngwavuma and Matobeni Palace, and then after that we'll have the main one, uh, which has always happened at Enyogeni. Under normal circumstances, we'll still be having one event in the same manner that it has happened historically. So that is basically the context within which Matobeni then became another venue to host a uh, Umtanga um, uh, or Red Ceremony. All right, now, 
Prof, we've also had conversations on end about how this particular, you know, uh, festive uh, and jovial celebration is being held under, you know, a heightened security there. And it's hard for us to have this conversation without also making mention of uh, the supposed factions that as well as uh, the, uh, this is at a time when the kingdom is going through some rocky times. Are we likely to see perhaps some sort of, um, you know, both these factions uh, coming or reaching some sort of common ground in order to take the kingdom forward? No, if they are serious about Zulu identity and if they are serious about the status of the Zulu nation, they have no choice but to find each other. And in fact, uh, you might have uh, seen when King Mrs. Zulu addressed the nation and the world, he indicated that uh, he's ready to uh, sit down with uh, his um, 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 uh, siblings and then try to find a way forward. The understanding here is that uh, uh, king Mrs. Zulu is now the king of the Zulu nation, while on the other hand, um, uh, Princess Magadha remains the prince uh, of the Zulu nation because no one has taken that title away from him. He remains the prince, the Zulu prince, that is the uh, Princess Magadha. And the same goes also for uh, Prince Buzabaz Zulu, who is also one of the contenders, said to be one of the contenders, although he joined the race at the very last minute, in other words, at the 11th hour, and then he was said to be one of the contenders. Until that time, all that was known was that uh, uh, Princess Magate and then Prince Mrs. Zulu, who is now King Mrs. Zulu, they were the two contenders. And then, of course, later on, we're told that uh, uh, Prince Buzabazi also has okay, a claim uh, uh, over this particular um, uh, position. So, obviously, then, with the king having now been officially installed in terms of uh, Zulu tradition, all we are waiting for is for the event in October, which is just a formality in terms of uh, satisfying uh, the constitutional imperatives whereby the president is going to hand over uh, the certificate uh, publicly uh, to the reigning king, now King Misuzu. So my uh, understanding, which is basically the understanding of many people in South Africa, even if they are not Zulus, is that now that the king is, has been enthroned, then uh, the two factions should find uh, one another or each other. And for, of course, we can say the three factions if we're to bring in a defection of Prince Buzabaz for the sake of the nation and not necessarily for their own sake. Because we recall that even if you are a king, you are not a king for yourself, you are a king for the nation. You are leading the nation. You are basically the eyes and ears of your ancestors. In which case then whatever mistake they to make is going to come down negatively on you because it will mean that we have derailed uh, from the path that was left by your ancestors. So it's imperative then that they find one another and then make sure that uh, the, the Zulu nation uh, in fact regains its integrity because it's known all over the continent and all over the world. So it will be a disgrace if the Zulu nation were to lose its identity and all the respect that it has, it has enjoyed just because of negligence uh, from members of the royal family. Now, Prof, though, how much of a reality would that be and, and a possibility um, of them coming together, looking at the fact that Prince Smagate has launched his own court bid and uh, he wants the, you know, the, the court to declare his brother's appointment to be unlawful and set aside. He's also demanding to see the mediation panel report, which he, you know, he says would have been behind behind um, his, you know, the, the decisions that were made by the president then. And you also look at, um, you know, the other part of the family ba backing or Prince Muzabazi, and you then look at even the princesses themselves who have their own matter in court wanting the will to be declared invalid. You think of the, the, the queen uh, also having her own uh, legal challenge. You're thinking of Prince Mbonisi as well. How much of a possibility is it um, you know, to do what you're saying right now for them to come together and put the nation first? No, th thank you very much for that question, Bongi. You, you know what, there are two issues here, and these issues should be dealt with separately. Mm. The one issue concerns the will, and it has nothing to do uh, with uh, basically uh, the, the, the throne, that is the Zulu throne. So the princesses that you are referring to are not necessarily challenging the fact that the uh, King Mrs. Zulu uh, is the rightful heir to the throne. They are not challenging that. Theirs is a different one. All they are saying is that uh, uh, the signature uh, is, is not that of the late uh, Zulu King, King Kutwil Zulitini. They are saying that the signature was fought. At least one of the pages is uh, allegedly, or was allegedly fought. 
So then once that a particular issue has been resolved, then they can deal with uh, uh, that particular matter. In so, fact, it has to do with the wealth of uh, the late king and has nothing to do with the throne. Prof, though, then when you coming continue, to this issue of the throne, then... Before, before you continue and move to the issue of the throne, uh, the, 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 that contestation, though, of the will, does it not have a bearing? Because think about the fact that should they win and it's found that the will is invalid, this is the same will that the late Queen Montobi would have used, um, you know, with her power that also put her as the regent. And then they could then maybe say that based on the fact that this will has been declared, um, you know, invalid, then Queen Montobi could not be the regent. Then then she could not appoint her son to then be the one, um, you know, that takes over. Does it not somehow though still go back to, to, to the, the, the battle for the throne? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. It's only people who don't understand what is happening here who are basically merging issues that are not supposed to be met. The issue of the will, whether we have a will or we don't, doesn't really matter. The will of um, a, a, a king, Kutu Zolitin, or the will of the late queen, Manfombe, uh, does not matter in this case. Because uh, all that matters, even if you look at uh, the three pieces of legislation, that is the, uh, the 2003 Traditional Leadership um, and Governance Framework Act, and then you look at the 2019 Coisan Act, or you look at the 2005 Traditional Leadership Act of Kwasu Natal, the three pieces of legislation are clear as to how the process is supposed to unfold. The main point there is that the, the voice of the royal family is the final one. So whether there was a will or not, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that uh, once the king is passed on, what then happens is that uh, the royal family has to sit down and then nominate the heir to the throne. Once the process has been concluded, they will then uh, uh, prepare those minutes and then give them to the provincial uh, uh, premier, who will then satisfy himself or herself and then take the same uh, to the president of the country, who will then uh, be the one issuing the certificate. So it has nothing to do with the will, but it has everything to do uh, with uh, what the family, the royal family has decided. So in other words, the point I'm making here is that, uh, let's say, hypothetically speaking, the two princesses and, um, and, and, and the mother, that is Mama Tameni, uh, wins um, in that particular case, whereby they are questioning the, the authenticity of the signature. And then it is found that indeed uh, the signature was authentic. That will only affect uh, the, the, the estate uh, of the late king, but it will not have a bearing on the heir to the throne. Because the, the position uh, that uh, King Mrs. Zulu has taken right now has very little or nothing, in fact, culturally has nothing to do with either the will of his father, that is Kim Kutul Zolitini, nor the will of his mother, that is uh, Maman Fom Bitlameni. It has everything to do with the decision that was taken by uh, the royal family. And then you, we can then cite the three legislations that, that I've referred to, and you'll find that indeed that is what is happening. So whether they win or not is neither here nor there. That's interesting, um, you know, Prof, really to, to always hear how you, you analyze these things because quite a number of people were thinking that this is a clear line uh, towards that particular direction. And as, as I bring in Umkolisi here, I mean, I'm sure one of the conversations in Umkolisi that, you know, we were also talking about is the significance of this palace, but also the significance of a statement that would have been released by Umduanaga Pindangen, who was talking about how the king is now in charge of all the royal palaces despite what we have been seeing um you know playing out through statements over time indeed bongiwe and as we continue to digest some of these uh, conversations of course mr Gomezulo, i think I think uh, one of in one of the images that we continue to monitor right now, uh, taking it back to this particular read dance, we've seen how you know the maidens are already making their way uh, to towards um, the the king to hand to hand the reeds over. So I, I'd like for us to perhaps maybe Prof, if you can just tell us about the significance of the presence of Amabuto because we've seen them being led by Inyosi a bit earlier on. What does their presence? at the reed dance symbolize okay no that's a very important question so you recall that uh, uh, in the western sense if you have a president coming you will have the security detail 
normally there are those who go uh, in front and then before even uh, the president arrives or the prime minister arrives uh, to make sure that uh, security has been taken care of and even before the president or the prime minister emerges they will be the ones who will appear first and make sure that the, 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 the place where he will be uh, is also safe. And Amabuto then performed that particular function uh, in the case of the uh, African tradition and then Zulu tradition specifically. So you cannot have a situation whereby these maidens go there on their own because it means that uh, they are basically exposed. So you need Amabuto to be there for two reasons. One, they are, they, 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 are, they, are, they are going there to make sure that uh, they show the king allegiance to the king to say that you are not alone, your majesty, we are here and we are here to protect you, we are here to protect your maidens. And they are also there to make sure that uh, there are no interruptions that take place while that particular customary practice uh, is being carried out. So their, their role is very significant then in that sense in the sense uh, of uh, protecting the king but also in the sense of uh, protecting uh, the maidens to make sure that nothing untoward happens so that is why you will find them there but then thirdly and most importantly they are there because uh, as uh, um, uh, you, you, you were uh, talking to my colleague uh, Dr. Mazibogo amongst them you have easy news and, and you saw that there was more than one of them but then once the king is about to emerge there will be only one and that one is the one who is officially assigned the role uh, of uh, uh, basically reciting all the kings that have passed on but most importantly introducing uh, the king that is ab about to emerge and then address the nation in this case address the maiden so you cannot have a ceremony a cultural ceremony without also having a mabuto because it will mean that uh, you are sending the message that uh, the king has no support the king has no protection and that will be something untoward Indeed, Bongiwe, and I think it, it makes it time for us to continue as well, reflect to some of the uh, so-called factional battles that we've seen within, of course, the, the, the palace there. So uh, take us through what is uh, going to happen now, Prof, uh, because on our screens now our viewers are just watching essentially uh, what is coming out of there. But also, there was this custom that was thought to happen where we've seen in Eswatini, we've seen uh, the king be in a position where he's able to pick a wife out of the proceedings today out of uh, you know the maidens who bring the uh, read to him are we likely to see this particular practice continue forward uh, when it comes to the read dance today is king mrs zulu likely uh, to do the same uh, that is hard to tell because even the late king, King Kutwil Zolitini, did not pick up a wife in each and every uh, uh, I mean, uh, ceremony. Uh, so it's not something that, it, that is going to happen annually. Otherwise, the king will have more than 600 wives, uh, which will be something bizarre. Uh, by the way, the same customary practice is also uh, practiced in Eswatini. We have seen King Mswati doing the same, but not in each and every rit, um, uh, rit ceremony, in some of them. And this thing is pre-arranged so that uh, before uh, that particular uh, rit ceremony happens, they know that on this one specifically, uh, the king is going to select uh, one of the maidens to be the wife. But it doesn't always happen. So this time around, I'm not sure if uh, King Mrs. Zulu uh, will do that. But if you wanted to, he could without uh, breaking any law and without violating any traditional practice. But I doubt that he will do it. But if he were to do it, then it will be his choice. All I'm saying is that uh, it doesn't uh, necessarily mean that in each and every uh, rite ceremony, there will be a maiden that will be chosen to be the next queen or to be the next uh, wife. Uh, otherwise, the, the king uh, would have too many wives. And I, I don't think that uh, it will be an ideal situation to do that. I don't think it would be an ideal situation indeed, Prof. Mongiwe, perhaps let's also bring you back into this conversation. You know, I think me and you earlier on were busy reflecting on how this is not just a mere ceremony for these young women, but it is also a moment where they're able to take pride in who they are, to take pride in their culture, and to also take pride in, 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 in what they've become as young women, Mongiwe. Yeah, Mongiwe, and uh, if uh, we can also maybe just uh, listen in to possibly what also is happening on the ground uh, just to get a sense of where things are as a prof you stay with us um, you know as we try then to, to to really tell the viewers what they are seeing on their screens
All right, uh, we'll bring you more uh, from on the ground as uh, we then really look at, uh, you know, this uh, particular uh, a ceremony. I mean, of course, Umhlanga is quite a significant ceremony on the Amazulu Nation's uh, calendar. And uh, we saw even earlier on the maidens expressing, uh, you know, pride and joy at the fact that they're able to gather again. And for a number of them, it's about seeing their friends from different provinces again because they would have not have seen each other mostly at uh, you know this event uh, because we had COVID-19 and um, the pandemic also making it th things difficult for them to be able to gather so there was quite a lot of excitement when you were seeing some of those maidens as they were really really um, you know talking about for them how this is a choice how this is something that they want to do and no one is forcing them and prof it then goes back to you know the conversation that is you know really continues to rage around the the read down so good i'm a they're being forced to preserve their virginity but when you listen to them it's a stark contrast to what you sometimes hear about how things are done here uh, you know what, uh, my sister, there is something uh, terrible that is happening. As Africans in general, and as Amazulu in particular, uh, we have an identity crisis. Uh, if you look at the other nations, they do embrace uh, westernization, but they never run away from their uh, customary practices. And one of the reasons they do this is because they want to retain their identity, and they also want to prosper, and they also want to debunk the myth that uh, everything Western is perfect and then everything traditional or original is outdated or outmodest. So in this case, there are people who are basically saying that uh, these women are being forced uh, to do this virginity testing. But that is not uh, 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 the absolute truth. Uh, the reality of the matter is these young women, these young maidens are doing this thing voluntarily because they want to be proud of themselves being maidens and of themselves being virgins for as long as necessary. And in fact, their parents then would encourage them for their own purposes. Because if you if you marry a virgin, and then of course, you as the person who's marrying this virgin, you will be proud that you got a virgin. But the parents too will be happy because they are giving you someone who is still pure and then they will be in a position uh, then uh, to proudly ask Prof, you how many cows or how many cattle you will give to them. Prof, my apologies uh, for coming in there. Please hold that thought because we're going to keep talking about it. Sezwa uh, Umsindo, let's just uh, listen in to what is happening now.
Sure, as Karen. you can see, the, the maidens are about to, to lay their wreaths their, their, their reeds there and uh, led by um, one of the princesses, Princess Luazi Zulu, who would have been chosen to be the one that leads Amatichi for this moment. And uh, let's uh, then listen in as they, they sing quite an, a, an important song there. That is quite a significant song and we'll tell you uh, why as we continue to have our conversation with Professor Mkomezulu. But let's listen to what is happening now. If, if you can't, I'll describe it for you. We're seeing, um, you know, the maidens, and they are about to to present their uh, their reeds, and they were singing quite a, a powerful song, saying "Sibuyale entabenengwele yase santuana." Let's talk about this moment and the significance of the song. Well, the song is very significant, and the mountain is also significant uh, because, uh, as we recall, in 1879. Uh, under Ingo Sikhechwayo, what happened is that when the British were, were invading Zululand after having um, crushed um, uh, Amakosa in the Eastern Cape, they then basically uh, met the Zulus uh, at Isandwan, and that uh, basically meant that uh, they were referring to a mountain which looked like a house. So they were saying, this one, Isandwan. So it looked like a house, therefore, and uh, now we know it as, as Isandwan. So the 1879 war then is called as Impia Sandwan. Mm -hmm which is where then Zulu uh, forces were able to defeat the British until there took be a reinforcement from the eastern part of Europe to make sure that uh, they eventually crushed the Zulus uh, at Lundi uh, uh, in 1879, July 1879. So then the significance of uh, Isangwan therefore uh, is to remind uh, uh, the Zulu nation and to remind uh, South Africa as a country that in 1879 at Isangwana, uh, Zulu warriors emerged victorious and their spirits are there and then that becomes a holy mountain in the sense that uh, that is where our heroes lie and uh, that is where some of our heroes perished but that is where also our heroes emerged victorious so when they are singing that one they're saying we are coming from that mountain meaning that uh, we are the descendants of those uh, who crushed the british at Sandwan. so it's a very powerful song in that context and, and and prof you know it also then also okay, speaks to the time and uh, you know the context under which everything you know I I I I is happening particularly uh, within the family and you're thinking about the fact that even a place like Enyogeni for example the palace and the significance of you know such a moment singing the song looking back at you know the fact that this is where the ancestral home is and it's quite quite a place of prayer even for the amazulu nation uh, yes indeed yes indeed my sister because uh uh, we don't necessarily have to hold all events at Isandwana just because it happens to be a holy mountain. But then you among the palaces, among the Zulu palaces, you have Enyogeni that was chosen to be a place where all sacred ceremonies are going to be held. That is why there was so much uh, of a talk 
uh, when uh, Prince um, uh, Smagate uh, was residing at Enyogeni and indicated that uh, he wouldn't uh, relinquish it uh, to King Misuzulu for this particular ceremony. Until Nkosi Mangosutu Telezi in his capacity as the Zulu Prime Minister had to explain the history behind the selection of Enyogeni as basically a temple of uh, the Zulu nation, of the Zulu people. So it became important therefore that uh, even if there was a possibility of holding this event in any other palace but because of its historical significance and because of its cultural significance it was important that the event be held at Enyogeni as has been traditionally the case so then this becomes then a sacred place where these ceremonies are held uh, for that reason then i don't think that anytime soon we will see uh, another palace being chosen for this particular purpose. The only exception is the one we talked about, Emakobeni, for the reasons that we provided. Otherwise, Enyogeni then becomes uh, the sacred place where main ceremonies of the Zulu uh, tradition of the Zulu nation are held. They have always been held and will always be held until such time that uh, a decision, a collective decision is taken that maybe another palace be selected for that particular purpose. Now that we understand, of course, that the maidens have now arrived at the palace, talk to us about what is going to happen next. Uh, there isn't much, in fact, once uh, maidens have uh, given their um, 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 reads to the king, they then go to the main uh, venue where the king will eventually then address the nation. But uh, there is something significant that uh, happened uh, before the pictures that we are seeing right now. Where you saw a warrior on the one hand and you saw a member of SAPS on the other hand, both of them ensuring that uh, there is peace and there is security in that particular space. This is what we normally refer to as a dual system whereby traditional practices converge with your modern or Western practices. For instance, SAPS is, is aligned with the Western practice, even the way they, they, they dress up, uh, the kinds of ammunition, I mean, uh, weapons they carry, that is, a, a, I mean, a reflective of the Western uh, tradition. And then you have uh, that particular Ibuto, uh, who, is who is dressed in his uh, uh, African regalia and is uh, carrying basically African weapons. So the two are working together for the same goal, that is to provide protection. So this is very significant then to, uh, to, to show that uh, as much as the Zulu nation wants to preserve its tradition, but it is also open to embracing uh, other cultures to make sure that uh, uh, we move with the flow as it were. So basically then once these maidens have given their, their aid to the king, their job is done for the day. The rest will be just celebrations, singing, dancing, and then of course eventually the king will then go and address them as a collective and that will mark the end of the event of course including any food that might be there they will share that food whatever the case is but the reality of the matter is the handing over of the raid is then the climax of this particular event after that is an anti-climax uh, if we're to talk in literary terms and prof uh, you know th this is also an event that uh, 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 the late uh, kings would have used over years to speak about the issues that the you know the, the the youth are facing talking about you know the prevalence of hiv aids teenage pregnancies and all of that i wonder what should be in your view a message uh, looking at you know the the new king his message to the maidens to the nation what should it entail particularly at a time like this one uh, thank you very much for that question, Bongi. And uh, normally, uh, the message on this day uh, is separated into two parts. The one part focuses on the youth. And the youth in this case are not just these maidens, but also young men out there, uh, because they are the ones who impregnate these young women. They are the ones who are involved in GPV and all the like. So the message is then to the youth to make sure that uh, they must refrain from doing those kind of things. But then on the other hand, there is another message that goes straight to the parents. That the parents have a responsibility to take care uh, of uh, these maidens because the maidens don't belong to them as parents, they belong to the nation. So basically the king then will be sending a message to them that uh, you are my eyes and ears in each and every household, in each and every community. So it is your responsibility to raise these kids in a proper manner, because these are the pride of the nation. So then the king will have to uh, move between the two messages. And then, of course, uh, each and every year, each and every 
uh, event will will then be uh, basically characterized by a number of uh, other messages which are informed by situations that are happening at that particular time uh, it, it will depend on the uh, on the recent uh, events that have happened like we've just seen recently uh, the rape case that happened in northwest uh, where those eight ladies uh, were, 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 were gang raped and there have been other instances as well uh, alcohol abuse is one of them so th there are quite a number of issues that will come in but by and large the message is for the youth and the other message is for the parents then we can play around and see how to infuse any other recent development in that particular narrative and prof you know at the same time um while he delivers that particular message at the end of it all would be onomelo who have been looking after these maidens for months and and some of them for years who are then going to go back with them and continue on these particular teachings uh, yes, of course, they fall under that category which I refer to as parents because you cannot just take a youngster and then give that person the label of being no matter. Mm -hmm. uh, these women, it's a certain group of women in society who are settled with the responsibility to make sure that these maidens remain pure, they remain virgins. So the onus is on the king, therefore, firstly, uh, to appreciate the work that they do but then secondly to encourage them to continue doing what they're doing because they are not also doing it just for themselves but they are doing it for the nation and indirectly they are doing it for the king himself because these maidens belong to the king the nation belongs to the king these women belong to the king the young men and, and the elderly men belong to the king so whatever you are doing in your little space you are not doing it for yourself but you are doing it for the king so therefore the king therefore will be doing the right thing uh, to thank them and also to encourage them to continue doing the work that they are doing for the nation and not for their families or the communities or themselves. And before I bring back um, Olisi, uh, I'd like to latch on to what you've just spoken about, the recognition and the people that, you know, are important here. Let's talk about the role of the Amazulu, you know, the, the, the Prime Minister and what he would have done for this moment to actually happen because you, you cannot look at it without what he has also had to do to ensure that they forge ahead. Uh, you know, Prince Mangosuto Buteles is a working archive when it comes to Zulu tradition and Zulu history. He has remained in this position from one king to the other. Uh, it, in fact, it's up to King Mrs. Zulu to decide whether he wants to relieve him of his duties because of his age or he wants to retain him. That will be a decision for him to take. But the reality of the matter is Prince Mangosuto Buteles has done a sterling job uh, Prof, pardon me. Uh, I think you and I are having a lot of stop and goes, but it's the nature of it. Let's take a listen in because we do understand that the king has now arrived. <laughs>
And you can see the live on your screens, the media being asked to uh, move back a little bit. You could see even on your screens, Umdwana Utulani Zulu, who's one of the princes there in the family, asking members of the media to move back a bit uh, because um, the king has to see uh, the maidens as Bebega so it's important for him that he gets to see that with no interruptions and these are maidens uh, that you can see in a presenting of course their reads um, for the king and this for them is important because as we were speaking to Dr. Mazibuga earlier on uh, talking about the significance of the read the fragility of a woman's virginity so you can only imagine as we just saw even a short while ago umtwana or prince tulani zulu making sure that everything is going according to plan here as well indeed and as we can see Bungiwe, uh, the maidens have arrived there uh, to put to lay their reeds of course in front of the king i don't know if the prof is still on the line for us because i'd like to bring him into this conversation for us so prof you know i need to pick a bone from the conversation that you've had with the just a short while ago i want to know from a cultural pr perspective when we're looking at uh, things such as the reed dance. Are we really doing enough 
to empower the boy, boy child as well from a cultural perspective. I mean, in, in, in just your chat, you also mentioned how, by and large, the perpetrators of, of, of gender-based violence are males. Do you think culturally we're also doing enough to ensure that, you know, we bring the boy child onto the discussion table? No, 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 we're not. We're not, my brother. I cannot um, uh, mince my words on that one. We're definitely not doing enough, if anything at all. Because what used to happen in the past is that uh, men uh, would spend time with boys uh, just outside the crawl, uh, uh, around uh, the, the fireplace out there, and then they'll be talking about how to become a man. And they'll be discussing that in the absence of ladies, be they uh, women or uh, women in the family, or be they girls in the family. So that is the discussion that was going to happen, or that used to happen uh, around the fireplace, where they would be alone. We no longer have that. Uh, in fact, it starts from the very early age that uh, our kids are no longer brought up by their mothers and their fathers, but they are brought up by the, uh, by the helpers. Uh, what then happens in that case is that uh, we have taken uh, the responsibility of being parents and we have handed over that we have outsourced it uh, to those who are helpers. So in that case then, uh, at least with uh, these uh, youngsters, those who, who still attend these uh, rich ceremonies, at least they have some elderly women in society who educate them. But there is no such an avenue for boys anymore. So then boys will just say things the way they are and then they will do what they think is right only to find later on that, uh, in fact, if they had advised, they, they, they would have done things differently. So the reality of the matter then is there is a gap whereby we are focusing uh, on um, educating these maidens, but we are not doing something similar uh, to educate these young men. So that w what they do, they think is right because of peer pressure or because of peer influence, and there is no other elderly uh, figure, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just someone who is uh, giving an elderly voice who is going to advise them accordingly. Because as I say, men are, are away, and then mothers are away, so there is no advice that they are getting. So the answer is no, we are not doing enough, if anything at all. And Prof, I wonder if that has to do with what you were saying earlier on, um, you know, when the first interruption happened, that we are, you know, there appears to be a, 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 an approach that is not taking uh, these particular, you know, customs very seriously. Does it perhaps maybe also have, you know, that as a point of, of, of focus to say that over time we've seen less and less of this happening because for some they seem to no longer hold value. No, indeed, indeed, my sister, it does. Like we were saying earlier on, that uh, the reason why other nations are progressing while we are not is because we are, we are suffering from what I refer to as identity crisis. Uh, we do the same thing with religion. We have abandoned our religions as Africans and we are trying to embrace Western religions and in the process we don't understand what those Western religions entail and we have uh, uh, moved away from our religions so we find ourselves in the middle of nowhere. And the other thing of course is that the moment you practice your cultures and uh, your customs you are deemed primitive and therefore you are looked down upon and you suffer from inferiority complex. That is the reality that we are faced with. Just like something simple, if you were uh, like Amabutu are wearing right now, you will be frowned upon. And we, the, it, there is also this politicization of our African customs that has also crept in. Like for example, I remember um, uh, in Guazulu Natal, uh, during the early 90s, late 1980s and early 1990s, whenever you were seen wearing an African attire like in the manner that Amabutu are wearing, you would immediately be uh, associated with the IFP because of pe people were ill-advised and they assumed that IFP was uh, equal to Zuluness and then anything else was equal to being ANC. It's because of people who are not knowledgeable about the history of the country, including the history of the IFP and the history of the ANC. So then even if you wanted to continue wearing those uh, um, uh, different regalia, uh, which would identify you as Umzul, Umtos and whatever, you would then be scared to do that because of the context within which you are operating. 
And then even after violence had subsided, there are people who still remain reluctant to do that to this day, to the extent that uh, they've now totally abandoned those uh, um, uh, cultural practices, including the way they used to dress up, because they, want, they don't want to be seen to be primitive. So the reality of the matter is we are suffering from identity crisis, and that is contributing immensely to some of the things that we see happening, including GPV that we are crying uh, about right now. You know, Prof, you keep going to that, uh, you know, term of identity crisis, especially as uh, for us people of color. Talk to us about how do you think we should be laying the groundwork for conversations around this in order for us to get to a point where we all sing from the same hymn book? Uh, it's education, my brother. And I'm not just talking about Western education, I'm talking about education in its broader sense, uh, which would include orality that my, my colleague Dr. Mazibogo was talking about. Uh, at one point, I was uh, making a call that our uh, educa basic education is, is supposed to assist us in this regard. <clears throat> well, the moment we started off um, imagining geography and history and calling uh, the two social sciences, we derailed. Because I was arguing that under apartheid, we were complaining that uh, history was not taught in its pure form. History, in fact, uh, was politicized to the extent that anything good was associated with whites, anything bad was associated with the group uh, initially referred to as non-whites, and then later on referred to as colored Indians, blacks, and so on and so forth. So we have not moved away from that. So right now, there are people who do certain things not because they want to, but because they lack knowledge. So for me then, the starting point will be to ensure that we educate ourselves first as parents, and then secondly, we educate our youngsters about all these different cultural practices, say of the Nguni tribes, or of the Nguni nations, for instance, and also of the white uh, groups, be it African-speaking or English-speaking. Once we understand these different cultural practices, we will then uh, come to the conclusion that uh, if I project myself as a Zulu, I'm not inferior to a white person. And a white person is not inferior to a, an Indian, and an Indian is not inferior to a cat, and so on and so forth. So I think for me, it all starts with education, and not just book education or Western education, but also our own uh, African way of educating youngsters, including poems, including Amahobo, including everything else uh, that my colleague was talking about, because that is where we have lost it. In these songs, there is history and tale there. In this Amahogo, there is history and tale there. In the stress code, there is history and tale. So there are a lot of things that we can do which we are not doing, and I doubt if we will ever do that because even our education system, our officials are not assisting us in this matter, and we as the a general public, we are not also making enough noise to make sure that our officials do understand the danger we are heading towards if we abandon our cultures and our traditions. And Prof, I'm going to ask us just to pause and listen in to what is taking place there and we'll come back on that point of knowledge sharing.
And as you can see, uh, visuals of uh, the maidens there. Prof, we were talking about knowledge sharing and you, you think of what we've seen unfold in front of our eyes. For example, you're looking at Inyo Si Ubuzeje Numheje with a younger, um, you know, Ibuto, almost like looking as if he's also sharing that knowledge which would have been done for him by Inyo Si Ulamini the late. And you look at these maidens, they are also going through their own process of growth because as they are also learning from I absolutely my sister th those are the kinds of things that are supposed to be happening and we should be encouraging more of this unfortunately as we were mentioning earlier on that uh, there are some members of society who are saying that the entire cultural practice should be abandoned because it is abusive so they say and then the moment we have such sentiments then it means that uh, there are people who are going to believe that narrative and then eventually you'll see this cultural practice being abandoned. The moment you do that, then it means that uh, there is nothing that will be left with to identify us as the Nguni people or to identify us as the Zulu people. So that is the danger that we are heading towards. But if we are to continue doing that and then understand why we are doing this and then the history behind it, chances are we'll be in a position to pass on that knowledge uh, to our um, um, I mean, uh, to, to our successors because we also inherited it from our forebears so that is how history has been maintained without having it written down but through orality and through practice then we're able to preserve our histories but if we stop doing that then it means that uh, we are basically killing um, uh, the entire um, uh, culture of the african people and we'll be left with nothing and the only option that we'll have at our disposal is to embrace other people's cultures and then we'll go back to the point i made earlier on that uh, we'll not be identified as uh, um, uh, african people the way we used to neither are we going to be fully embraced by the western cultures that we are, we are trying to adopt and then we'll be just um, be, uh, be found wanting uh, in the middle of nowhere Indeed, Prof. And, you know, as you're making that point, it takes me back to some of the conversations that we also reflected on just at the top of the program earlier today where some of the maidens kept going on and saying, uh, saying that, you know, this is not just the rite of passage for them, but it is a moment for them to really reflect the long way that they've come as a young Zulu maiden. So do you think this actually is the exact purpose for this particular event? Yes, in a way, you want to inculcate knowledge to these youngsters. One, you want to remind them where they come from as a Zulu people, but then you also want to prepare them for the future. Because uh, one of the things that uh, we keep emphasizing is that uh, uh, these maidens should be encouraged to do these kinds of things and we tend to focus on the immediate causal factors, that is basically your, your GPV, uh, your, your STDs and all the like. It's, it's fine, but they should, that shouldn't be the, the only message that we are, we are passing through. The main message should be you must preserve your cultures because that is how you are identified as a people. Then the rest of other stuff then becomes your appendages if you want to. The main factor is that uh, you want to preserve your identity and this is how you do it. And then these maidens then will grow up knowing that what they are doing is significant not just for themselves but for the entire nation in terms of making sure that uh, uh, the nation continues to exist long after they are gone long after they become mothers and so on and so forth so i think it's important on different fronts it then depends where your focal point is and for me the focal point should not be on the immediate and we have to look at the bigger picture but still embrace the other issues which are immediate factors that we see uh, basically affecting our societies and then we make sure that uh, we reiterate the point that if you do APCT this is how this is going to assist you and then of course these youngsters will be encouraged uh, to join this, uh, this group of maidens and then do what they're doing right now. And Prof, uh, you know, you, 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 you didn't even get to finish your answer because we had to take the live visuals of the king uh, but it, it's an important issue to go back to the, the you know Prince Mangosu Tibutelezi and the role he played for this moment that we are seeing right now and many others that we've seen before. Uh, it's, a very, it's a very important position, that one, uh, my sister, because if you are the traditional prime minister of uh, the Zulu nation, it means that uh, you are closest to the king 
And in fact, once the royal family has deliberated on issues and taken a, a decision, your responsibility is to convey that message to the nation. In other words, you are the messenger of the Zulu royal family. Uh, so that if there is something uh, untoward that the nation is not happy with, in as far as the royal family is concerned, your responsibility as a prime minister is to collect that information and go and present it to the king and say, my king, this is what your people are complaining about. And then let the king um, uh, sleep over the matter, discuss it with those who are closest to him, including members of the royal family, take a decision, and then uh, call you as a traditional prime minister and say, as the royal family, we've looked into this matter, we've discussed this matter, and this is the conclusion we have arrived at. Then the traditional prime minister will take the message back to the people. Uh, regarding this particular issue, uh, for, for instance, uh, you recall that uh, Prince Mangosu Tuktelezi heard the rumor that uh, uh, Princess Magade was in fact saying that uh, he's not going to let King Mrs. Zulu use a new game for this particular event. Then uh, Prince Mangosu Tuktelezi, in his capacity as the traditional prime minister and not as the emeritus um, uh, leader or president of the IFP, but as uh, uh, the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, he had to come public and explain the history behind the building of these policies. At one point, he even stated that uh, uh, his government, the government who was leading was the government, uh, was responsible for building these policies, and they've been assisted by government. Even to this day, there is a budget set aside for the upkeep of these policies. In other words, uh, the reigning king is the one who is the custodian of this particular of these uh, policies uh, and then of course he's not doing it alone he's doing it as part of the collective but he's the head in which case then no member of the family uh, can say that uh, this particular palace is a no-go area it was in that context therefore that even after others had suggested that uh, this particular event today should be held at Kwakangela. And then he said, no, 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 it can't be, because traditionally this particular event has always been held at Enyogeni, and this year will be no exception. It will still be held there, and we're having it here. And then whether a uh, Princess Magade was forced out or he voluntarily left Enyogeni, uh, for me, it's immaterial. The reality of the matter is we have an event happening where it is supposed to happen, where other events have also taken place under King um, Kutwil Zolitini and even other, uh, under other kings uh, before him. Now, of course, Prof, as you continue to also have these conversations around, you know, some of the tensions that are currently uh, within the kingdom. Yesterday we saw how, you know, just when uh, members uh, of the kingdom tried to address members of the media yesterday, they were interrupted. Uh, don't you think this sort of speaks to the urgency of how this particular uh, matter or rather the conflict within the kingdom should be addressed? Uh, yes, and so the sooner this issue is resolved, the better. And for me, the best way to do this is not to go to courts. Unfortunately, that is the reality we are faced with. For me, the best approach would have been to draw from history and draw from cultural practices. Uh, some of us have been at pains trying to explain how Zulu tradition and culture operates. And then I, I lamented the fact that uh, we are now using a dual system where on the one hand, we are relying on cultural practices, but then on the other hand, we are relying on Western ways of doing things. And at times, these two don't necessarily match. And you find that one is singing on this particular hymn book, the other one is singing on the other. But be that as it may, that is the reality we are faced with. So once you have exhausted your processes, your traditional processes, then the next step is for you to go to court. This is what is currently underway. Like uh, you mentioned earlier on, and, and, and also your colleague mentioned earlier on that uh, uh, Princess Magate has already uh, submitted papers or served the prince, uh, the king with uh, uh, the papers uh, saying that he's challenging the throne. Uh, something that had happened even before other events unfolded. So that is where the court will then, will then have to come in. So my plea basically will be that uh, now that uh, the papers have been served, let the courts expedite the process. Okay. Professor Mgomezulu, can I just ask that we just pause this conversation for now because I need to bring in uh, my colleague Jade Pulser who's actually monitoring developments uh, coming out of the palace there. Uh, Jade, it's great to have you back on the agenda at this hour. So talk to us about what's happening there. I also understand that you have a guest for us. There's absolute festivities just behind you. 
house absolutely beautiful the maidens have just come and given their reeds we saw the first maiden there coming through and placing her reeds down and then they're offering it to the king um, mrs zulu kwa as well as me and then we saw other maidens coming through so there's a little hive of activity the groups are still coming through police before they head down to the show grounds and this is now the time when we speak to people and we talk about the legacy of the former king and also what the reed dance means to the zulu nation now i am joined by terim kletche he is the chairperson of the mrs zulu foundation thank you so much for joining us sir i want to go straight into it so the mrs zulu foundation not only is it assisting young girls and i suppose that is it's it's such a good thing to see that he's taking the baton from his dad and running with it you know educating young girls um bursaries for them tell us more about the foundation uh, the foundation is is very much interested to the to, to the young maidens uh, we got a uh, programs under the foundation called career expo career expo is targeting grade uh, 9 up to grade uh, 12 those are five days long if
Hello, Jill. Welcome. Welcome. Well, a very good afternoon, Lizelle, and a very good afternoon to the viewers back at home. And yes, there's still a hive of activity here at the Royal Palace. There are still groups of maidens that are coming through to give their re-dance to His Majesty. As you can hear, the mood is very jovial, but this group in particular is all the way from Eswatini. Now, you would know that the Reed dance has been for two years now not actually yeah, no for two years not taking place oh. because of COVID-19 yes. pandemic yes. but it has been in existence since 1984 actually <laughs> but let's speak to the maiden leader Cindy Nkosi Kamalo thank you so much for joining us Cindy all the way from Miss Wattini tell us how it feels tell us how it feels to be back here in Nongoma Okay, hello everyone. I will talk with Sizulu. Okay, I feel like happy, happy, happy to be back again. I'm Shangeni. Okay, mina am sending Kosi Oshatega Kumalo. So I'm, I was born from Eswazini. So here in South Africa, now I stay here. Then we've joined Amachichi Empel and Poko Sangeni from Tembisa Midrand. So the group, I think uh, it's 20 years now, for 20 years, and it's so nice to be here. It's very nice. I'm, I'm proud of the girls. I'm so proud. Of I'm so proud. Lana, I guess, Lana, Emma, Chichi, Mpela, Sinamanto, Mazana, Anga, Botisha, Anga, Anga, Ma. Poisa, Moksuga na wawa, Amantomba zana ami, Aya funda, Azmisele, Amantomba zana ami, Aya tanda, Ubuzdina, Ubuntombi, Babu. Ntela base, Eelo, Tembisa, Springs, Takane, Tutuza. I'm here for Nina, guys. Selkot Estate, I'm here for Nina. I'm here for I'm representing the Springs and the Ukoko Sangweni Etembi Samitren. So, Gumnandu Ugubale Group, Umtana Koma Umletala Angega Uze Uzole Umzan, Ukoko Gemuya Zipana Ukoko, Umtana Omenzigat Ukoko Uyam Zip, Ukoko Nibabon and Jan Mabula Ukoko Yabatsi. We are going to San Ukoko Sangen, Yam Tandu Koko Sangen, and Nati Sipma Panti Waka Usifundisa Okulu, Sikulisa Abantuan and Angela Ogui, Esitola Gue Ukoko Sangen. But in Zela, 
yaziwa abapambili kumele sitholo ulwazi kubantu abapambili ukuze nathi sikhulise ingane zethu ngendlela okuyiyo sezizingi izinto eyikhona ke we are like cos nina nilana abanye abantwana like bahlele emaphathini right now abanye abantwana like babeminya upe right now but nina ni like i'm so happy ukubona iintombi ezinga intengi ithanda kakhulu siphuma egoli Thank you so much for talking to us. Well, that was Cindy Ngosi Kumalo, the maiden leader from Eswatini, talking to us and also reaffirming her stance with these young maidens, saying that, you know, this is a time now for purity as well as social ills. And she's very proud of this group. Now, you would know if you've been following the redance throughout the morning it's not only groups from across the country but it's also groups from outside of our lands which makes the ceremony such a beautiful event Liesl it's back to you all right thank you so much Jade for that update JD Pulsa Bongani Gemma doing an amazing job in Nongoma bringing us the latest um, as it's unfolding live visuals on your screens right now um, obviously as as the maidens are uh, making their way through to the stadium after um, being handed over the the reeds and and let's see what what, what um, transpires from here into as well as they get there the lady there that uh, Jade was talking to um, yeah. is one of the leaders of uh, my maidens uh, they call them let's appreciate these women because they make sure Guti Labantwana Laba they are safe from Johannesburg from yes. KwaZulu Natal from the Eastern Cape from all over the country they make sure Guti they've got transport they make sure that uh, they are safe mm -hmm. and uh, Umzile, you heard her when she when she was talking about uh, pinching. Uh, you know, pinching yes. meaning uh, discipline. Whenever they try to uh, misbehave, they're going to be disciplined. I am looking at the attire and the colours that have uh, been displayed throughout. the um, weapons the Zulu weapons yeah know. yeah I definitely have a no carry on our desk <laughs> but unfortunately I've only got two hands today um, so 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 in terms of um, the ladies now as you can see on your screens they're now sitting there waiting um, to be addressed by the king mm. what sort of um, message is the king going to relay I, I, I think the message that is going to be like uh, um, 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 from the king uh, you know abstain behave mm. uh, go to school get education you know yeah. respect at home respect at school res respect the elders Shoni Pani Uyi Shono Nyogo Uzin Suguzin Uzayim Dezwe well, Jenga uh, Manjesi, I think we must um, um, introduce our cultural expert, Ubaba Undela um, uh, um He was a lecturer at UKZN, and uh, he uh, dealt a lot with uh, Zulu language. Thank you very much for joining us, um, and welcome. Hello. Nam <laughs>
Entombini mangabe ibu kogi. Ah, ya chabu lubuzi kuto lubuzi lombuzi. Ukusha na kumsho, noma umbala kumsho, lesi bona ula. Isho ubunusu lwa bento mbazar, ubunusu lwa ge, ubushuti into ise entombi, into isho ubusho njano ukusha lobo. Iko bona njabu ibona ubuni. In other words, the white color is dominant. As you see them as well. Now, if you were to talk about green, if the the color green represent also the the fertility of the land, if you may put it like that, uh, it represent that, and hence it's a green color. The red color sometimes others are saying, although you may enjoy living in this world, but there are other dangerous situations on your way. You must always be careful. Well, Obabu Mkazi has just made my job very easy. White means purity. Mm. White means she's still a virgin. Yes. Yeah. Green fertility. Yes. Um, amongst, you know, there's just little nuances and, mm. and detail that really bring, you know, to the rich, add to the richness mm. of the culture and the history and the tradition. Um, I, I'm see, not sure about yours you're wearing there. <laughs> I'm, I'm an amalgamation of everything. Yeah. We are proudly, loudly and proudly South African. But it's, yes. it's so beautiful to see how, you know, the, 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 the culture can be expressed in so many different languages. Bamdela, we're going to just a pause on the conversation for now let's cross live to some of the visuals that are on our screens where um, the Umgosi Womshanga is currently unfolding let's see what the latest is on that front some bursaries
All right, so Vusi, you know, we were just um, in conversation off air right now. Yeah. Uh, we can hear the praise songs coming through. It's celebration, really, really joyous atmosphere at this mm. point. I wonder if you could perhaps, um, for those who are not privy to, to understanding what, what, what the maidens are currently saying, what do these praise songs ultimately allude to right now? It's, it's, it's a happy song. Uh, it's okay. a happy song. Um, I, I, I suppose they mean um, at, at, like uh, in sunset, we've already, and we are happy that we've presented uh, our read uh, to the king, you know. Um, 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 uh, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Okay. Um, and, and, and maybe we can uh, bring in uh, Ubaba Umkazi just to ask him, uh, Ubuti, uh, what do they do with the reeds uh, after the ceremony? Mm -hmm. And then there's a belief that um, when a maiden carries the, the weed and then it breaks, it means she's not on a vision. I don't, I don't know about that. Maybe uh, Ubaba Umkazi can help us understand that. Sure, again, okay. we talk some of the myths and, and legends mm -hmm. that also come with um, some of the, the practices unfolding. Um, Bamdela, if you can hear us, uh, perhaps we want to bring you back into the into the conversation. Um, who is to Normally, it's the king who will say what should be done with the Mshang. And it, previously, I did follow that one up. They will leave Mshang there to dry. And then thereafter, they may use it. It's either to make a fence. They may use it on part of a using it as a as a to dash a particular uh, house, or even for decoration of some sort. But definitely, it is never banned. They don't ban it because, like I've said, um, 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 on its own. In a way, it is a sacred plant. So they don't do that. But it is a useful a thing. Like I have to say. Creating a fence, creating gates, if need be, or even using using it as a, a dash. Mm. This is definitely one of uh, you know those moments that serve as a bridge or unifying factor of force between the king, who's obviously attending his first Mkosi um, Womhlanga, and perhaps you know the, those in the Zulu nation. And so, as you mentioned, um, there are going to be a lot of important themes that will be coming through as the king addresses mm. those in attendance, mm. those who are watching. And, you know, as we, as we look at some of the critiques um, and questions that have also arisen, perhaps um, amongst um, many other things in relation to the, to the Umkosi Womhlanga, I, I want to perhaps bring in the issue of um, how we protect women. Where you are, there are lots of regiments, Amabud. They are there to protect those girls that are that you see there. And then I can assure you that no one will molest or even rape a girl because they are there. That's how they are being protected. Generally, the women are being protected even at their various homes, traditionally, just like beating a wife and so forth. If a man culturally is beating a wife, first they will tell him to stop the nonsense. If he continues, the other man will come along and give him the taste of this poison that he is poisoning the wife. And I tell you, I've, we have seen this uh, in many times, that such men then will, will stop. But however, in this democratic uh, um, way of uh, 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 rulership system, where they say sometimes 
uh, you don't take the, the law into uh, your hands. Sometimes that's where it will happen because if you call the law enforcement agencies, sometimes they take a long time to come. But I can tell you, I can assure you, in the communities, mainly in the rural uh, communities, there are no such. Once you, 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 you mistreat the girls in terms of uh, exacting a violence or whatever, then quickly the other male, ma men will come in and deal with you. Mm. That's how the women are being protected. Uh, still talking about women, um, we, um, earlier on we spoke about uh, the, 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 the maidens uh, leaders. Yes. Uh, how important they are uh, in terms of uh, the uh, the red dance uh, because these maidens cannot just go there alone you know they need to have leaders uh, yes. We better have a cool, we can't bear. A enemy gamma lab or two are all no men. Ibona, Gabahamba name, Gani lab. A Gamayama gamma bape, putting on his patagase, aching on his ukuma esandeni. A local de besuera de velebe from the seal in Gani Joba Ush, La Pola Suga Con. I would quit when you want to accept you away in your game. In jail and your pig. Is done as Yafundi is for Intel and your pig, Kuluman and Dome, Kakulas. So in Ako, Beba Konaganabo, Bezo Pega, Gutting and Bella, Aiking and Epimis Sandy, Kanjalo Futage, Kumun, Ofun Kumaza Ingan, Uma Begbona, Rubona, Wood Nasis Kangas Nuka, by a kitchen, a bayou big up by Vigil, Abacona, Napoleon's car. Who can sell in bed? Um says what we are no man, who beso Velo Uchilu. Goba Ubenza Abuganji, Ubenza Kashi Wabu Abuganji, and I went up by Velox Zone. You go on now, Ubenza, Unum Pumele Mish, Impumela Minde Mish, Nango or Kala, Lesis Gane as Balwa, Nalaba, Octua, a teenage pregnancy. Indo and Tegele, Lesis Gane as Balwa, Nalabo Abbas Bota, Gestagamis, Utuala, Gangan, Ama Drugs, Abujan, Gobas Fundis again, Kutia Puchas, Yafundis. And why is it so important for um, a, a, a young girls to be part of this uh, process? Hey, the young girls are important. Maybe let me start at rather uh, a, a, a larger or higher uh, level of this. Let's call it this way. Any female species is important because it guarantees the perpetuation, perpetuation of that particular species. Generally, that's what happens. The first uh, years of a child is the first years of a child. Let's <laughs> <laughs>
Pambi. Well, all right. So, Vus, you obviously asked um, Bamdela about the, you know, the older women who play a significant role in, in leading the uh, young maidens, and course, also, yes. you know, why the, the maidens should unfold. Will Lucy translate what it is he um, just um, alluded he's, to? He's talking about, you know, old, older women. You know, they they, they 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 act as guards. They act as uh, guiders, and they they act as teachers as well as protectors uh, to to these maidens um, 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 from from. Um, um, where they come from, um, um, uh, along the way uh, to Enyogeni and uh, to the process of uh, handing the reed to the king. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because it, it, it then brings in my next question about, you know, Babundela, how do we not place a burden on the maidens to be part of, uh, you know, the virginity testing and then approving their virginity and also protecting it as a result. Um, how would you weigh in on that? I'm only asking that because, you know, we, we do live in a society that is governed by patriarchy. And so the issue of autonomy and submission really comes into play as we look at it in relation to tradition and perhaps the results it's yielded in 2022. That's what I think I've alluded that when I was talking to you and some of the issues. Okay. You, you, the person. But let me repeat again. Okay. In English, you see, the importance of virginity on its own, the, the virginity testing, the so called virginity testing, is very, very important. Mm. Because having taught, you want to test as well. That's what they do in education as well, schools, universities, you name it, and so forth. When you have taught, you want to test if uh, the teaching indeed has some fruitful uh, uh, outcome. So hence the genetic testing. The virginity testing on its own, some of those girls, they do have boyfriends. Those, those that are rather old and others at the age of say about 16 and above, they do have those. But because the boys know that somehow within three months or so, and these girls will go for this virginity testing. So they have seen they will not penetrate them whatsoever, but the boys themselves become the, the guardians of these girls as well. So until they, 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 they grow and become old, so that they become the good wives and mamas and so forth. That's what is important about all this. Uh, earlier on, I was asked that but the health work organization seem to be saying there is no scientific proof, proof uh, regarding the, the this virginity testing well that is their number it's not our number because it it helps us it, it it bears a very good fruit ab about this and i've already mentioned how this is, is is being done so by doing this virginity testing by the way let me emphasize emphasize it's not a forced issue it's a, a, a voluntary mm. it is done voluntarily to a girl amongst those girls that you see there none of them that they have been forced to attend or even go this virgin interesting in their respective areas yes i am saying this because our journalists including you yourself there up until now you have never come across, I've never seen any headings in the print media saying a group of girls were, were forced to go undergo this virginity testing. No, it's not. It's a voluntary thing amongst themselves as well, so as the parents as well. So, well, I've never seen it on the television news again. Even a single girl saying, I've been forced to attend Unkos Wongranga. Had it been not that, I would not be part of this. No! It be, why? It's because it is a voluntary thing that they do. It's a choice. Mm. And in our constitution, it is enshrined that any person, you have a right to choose what to do and your, your lifestyle, as long as you are not interfering negatively with the other people. Um, Della, thank you so much, as always, for your expertise, you know, for that context, because it's very important to, you know, challenge some of the narratives, perceptions that, uh, you know, due to ignorance or lack of education, sometimes pervade uh, mainstream media. And so this is why we, we have these conversations, you know, to, to probably unpack and, and unlearn, le learn and relearn, um, perhaps especially as we go back to understanding heritage and tradition. You know where you're going when you understand where you come from. Mm. Um, the conversation is not over. Yes, yes I'm sorry, Bob yes. Mudela, you wanted to add. You wanted to add something. Yes, I want. Yes, uh, uh, quickly, I just want to say something. Like you, you, both of you have alluded to this one. 
And Mkwao Stronga is also a unite. Ah, well, thank you. I am stationed at the field where King Miso Zulu is going to be addressing the maidens who have just um, handed over their reeds. Many of them have now descended to the field. They are seated here receiving their uh, refreshments, I guess, because you can imagine how hungry they may be right now. So they are getting fruits you know, and juice to, pre to prepare them. You know, for we don't know how long you know, the king is going to be addressing the maidens. You remember that last time the king took a very uh, a short while uh, to talk to the maidens. He said that you know, the bulk of this occasion should be used you know, to just let the maidens dance and celebrate because for them this is an achievement. So in a few minutes, once all the maidens have seated, seated here, the king will also descend also with all the dignitaries that are part of the ceremony and other members of the at that stadium there to see over there, the king will be addressing the maidens there. But I also have with me a maiden who's just handed over uh, her reed. She is Kelo Sipe Ikama, Ms. Bongo, Ms. Yaschelo Utsie, when you saw Mbisile, or Akulon Tuzana, or Mkanga, Ustelo Utsuzunjan. Usneka Kamtembu from Mutu Kumsinyati. I'm 29 years old, and in Chabli Lerakul, who can be some Kanga, who can be silly and be singer about Kalu, who can be some Kanga, a silly and a sea shy, Tinesibang about Kali, Tombiza Simsinati, Gabonga Kul. Imam Tonka Ostras, the food suits, or Singa Glonia, or Hambesa, Umsanga, Osai Missalos, or Puberaglim Yagimiza. 
in terms of Kubera cool since from 2008 until now, we 2022. We and we well, they have this one of the maidens who's just handed over her is saying that she's very excited to be part of this ceremony once again, saying, saying also adding that she's prepared, you know, to stay on and, and, and continue with this journey, saying that the skill that she's getting from being part of the maidens have changed her life and make sure that she remains protected. We're expecting many more maidens to come you know, down here. I cannot yet confirm if the number that they were expecting really did turn out today, but it seems that many maidens did make their way because I can see many of them did not carry uh, their rings or maybe they left them behind because when you walk around the streets to going up to the palace, you can see some rings that you know have been left behind. Maybe maidens who just, you know, felt tired, you know, could, could not make it up to the Real Palace. But we'll stay here and bring you the latest. Ogani Gemma, thank you very much for that update. Again, lots of colorful festivities, a joyous occasion right now in Ongoma, where Mukosi uh, Womklanga is currently taking place. We are awaiting the King's address, mm -hmm. King Misizu Lukazuelatini, the 38th edition of this, his first. And, uh, you know, it's obviously sparking a lot of conversations that uh, touch, uh, touches on a few themes mm. affecting society. And, you know, we, we need to get into that VUSI as we perhaps just look at some of the critiques again, but also some of the, um, you know, groups that are for it. Uh, the SABC, in fact, also receiving quite a number of um, feedback in terms of what's being shown yes. and uh, how it's being perceived. Mm. Perhaps we we, we, we we must ask uh, uh, Ubaba Umkazi mm. about you know um, people that do not understand the, the, the attire the attire of the whole uh, process mkoso um, mtlanga as you can see in dombi zik mbele fagu mtlalo kufela yonke into nano guti mkazi kuna bantu abati hai mawe alapana weo keta in dombi uh, how can you respond to such critiques or such questions? Gautanda, ngelu ukala ngalomuzwa kote. Impela kunja ano, kona wanda batu umkoso umshanga, baze bapale pants. Lava bangazi gashe nga ulu umkoso, baze bapale utai. Umkoso umshanga, uenzelwa uguti inkosi, ikete umunyo umfazwayo ula nilai. Umkoso umshanga, uenzelwa uguti na matoro. Abu Yafid na wa azo tata inga nile zezingane Jalunja kaa Abu nke nisole Abu lona la nyu 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 Abu wona isi zaatu ya si mwoga so wenzo kumukoso mta Sese kazile ugutu mkoso mta Wenzenu wa ugubu ngaza Invela api ya bandi ubada gata Numtanda Na osuge ke ubonga Upinde futu ukele utaba nabasinge tana ya. Kutu wage, haku ngachiwe, umundu mebo ni mpumba, afisu kutufisu kuhishela, lafu, se mkuluma ngemsizu. Haku ngachiwe ukuta ngawenza mbuzi. Kutu uzo landela gashi. Uzo landela, uzo kualatu wala amachi, amakrigizi, ale untombi. Bese na intombi kubuzu, wage wanikuti ya ingatanda ya inukuti, keitu ukubonu ukuta kutu na lensizu wa. Umagunja <laughs> Kutuanje, ngez nisipati, by the way, maubona wena kintu mbo fisi kutu nga itata, uyenze unkoskazu, uzolandilage indela ya kogu. Umuzu wako kwe ugu njalo. Asize ke mfunulwe. Infunulo njongo ba, kate nvula, begu uwe nipela katu usho. Angiti infunulo, isho izika ba, to start with, izika ba kutu mtu seksi ku iska. Jenga hawa njamanto mazanelao, Ayin tombin do 
usho iskaba inunula pato ngayo onke uzwa bona ukuthi ukhona indunula yawe nombala omhlobo besesichazile ukuthi ukuthi uzwa bona ke bese kuya futhi eminye imbala ukuthi aqhamu kabi uma ngabe qhamu ngase endaweni ngiyalinganisa ngathi njengasexhopho uzobona ugqoka kawo eswazini uzobona ugqoka kawo enyukasela noma wemajuba uzobona ugqoka kawo ukuthi lana ke bagqoka kanje 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 kodwa yinye into isigaba ukubancane kanjalo nento nazo futhi imvunulo iyazi bona ngayo ukuthi hayi ke sekuyintombi esikhonjiwele udlula hayi ke lo sokungosikazi lo osethathiwe nayo imvunulo isho lokho kanjalo nakubani besilisa futhi kunjalo umfana ubona ngokungagqoka elithi umfana lo nensizwe kuze kuzofika endodi kuze kuzofika ehleni onayo imvunulo ukuthi oh icela ngesigaba njalo njalo Perhaps, Lizelle, uh, you, you, can, you can put that question to, to Umkazi um, because he uh, focused on the attire and what is under the, the attire and uh, uh, perhaps that question can address that. All right, so, so Bob Mdela, just on the back of that, then, you know, we, we just wanted to see how you weigh in on the fact that, or how would you respond to people who... You know, who are the view that the Mukosi um, Womhlanga, as uh, the re dance, is a display of nudity? Um, the SABC, as a public broadcaster, you know, have received some complaints, continue to receive some complaints um, from, from sectors in the, of South Africa's community that we, we are ultimately displaying nudity. Uh, my starting point. It would be better if those people can give a definition of what nudity they are talking about. Uh, or is it half naked if they are talking about or complete nudity? Because we have never seen any complete nudity, even on these uh, television shows, even if one is there. We have never seen that. But however, to address that, it is not a, new, a, new, a nudity thing. You see, it is a dress code. Before the white settlers came here and then people were wearing uh, what they regarded themselves that no it is proper in other words let's look at the men who are wearing skin look at them as well that they are showing their their tummy their stomachs as well they are also showing their chest if need be and some of them you, you, you can't call that nudity when it comes then to maidens themselves you can't say nudity because you are seeing breasts in our culture, in other words, the African culture, a breast of a, a, a young, one, young one, even the, the, the elderly one, doesn't indicate nudity. So those people are taking their sentiments regarding their culture, and then they are now imposing it here, and then they say it is nudity. It is not nudity at all to the people who belong to this particular culture. Uh, I, I may just respond like that. For me, it is they need to do all this research why they call it why why girls them dress like this the maidens dress like this and so forth in no way it is a new duty thank you thank you very much thank you for those Where's sentiments it? um you know we're just being asked to perhaps look at what's tra currently transpiring on our screens but um again throughout the, the afternoon cultural experts uh, Bam Dela and Changase just giving us some weighing in on some of the important nuances that come with commemorating and celebrating, you know, this uh, this redance uh, actually called the Mgosi um, Wongshanga. On your screens now are uh, some Amahubo songs that are currently being uh, praised and sung. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Right, Vusi, uh, on our screens right now, we've seen the maidens really making their way in uh, songs and praise um, on our way to, on their way rather, to the stadium. Again, as we alluded to, uh, awaiting the king's address, the first for King Mrs. Zulu Kazuelatini. And, uh, you know, we really seen the royal family in attendance um, also um, coming to celebrate this important milestone for uh, you know maidens within the Zulu culture but also as it is the king's first address at uh, the 38th edition. <laughs> 
ekchenge zibege umshana se zolinde la yoni kulumu yesilo sisi abona la page kula ma visuals eswani ke zawa zawe tu etewin kwanongom nezulu livumi livumi gashega kulu lichwa elevelu kuti libenje nezulu lakini tate si em kona wanongom sisi zuguti wema bege batini openge bento Nsaktela u olwe tumgo mezulu wane lempo jani, if back on. Olwe tumgo mezulu wane lempo jani. Olwe tumgo mezulu wane lempo jani.
Ronaldo?
you're chasing me away. You're chasing me away. Not in a gabuso, who was about in a babo, who might 
Jekali, Kupu and Kutofu, Wafra and Ebofu, Jerekam Lom Sabubo, M Kutofu, C first Gandaba, Esipa Pamatota, Halam Shanshana, C Sava Papile, Ulova Sumter and Mlanze, C Kaul Sam Temkulu, M Nala Salaswala, E Sinaba Tabasmo, Deba Shai Pini, Tapuam Kilibete, Obasumana, Oba Tumta Ayatwa, Wasilas Balela, Obasa Tutabangulu, Obasa Mukwasile, Lepolama Kwasa, Oyam Kuba Pati, Yabaka Tumayo, Kaba Tabasaluto, Hoshima Sajana, Obasa Kayini, Kaba Sakasini, Oyam Kuba Pati, Yabaka Tumayo, Kaba Tabasaluto, Iku Sakama Tumo, Itam Sini, Yaga Sago Chesta, Pablo Chesta Fila, Uro Bersava Kalaman Tabalu, Oti Gome, Saluan, Dagit Kwasulu, Oba Salam Omashu, Salam Roben Sali, Salam of Wangapule, Isla Vascalantini, Kuba Pete, Hakal Chabondaba, Okuma Santini, Kuba Gandusa, Uku Shokali, Oku Shamatota, Uma Tesa Pulini, Kuba Matatela, Uko Motra Salam Tonja Rapine, Abanyamangoma, Betra Sala Pesulu, Kuba Gongo, Ukara Kara, Oban Kondo, Hakas Hamatota, Amasa Pekulu, Wabu Sajela Masapangani, Hotima to the Rabawan Sajani, Paris Wan Gusaviti, Yama Matatela, Uko Salaba Kitanova, Kuba Shamatata, Abaki Pesupana, Etnev Salbusa, Elava Salana Pona, Hato Rantaba, Osa Gulbusa, Ozan Tesla, Yapama Tatiandaba, Utasi Tatandu, Hewanongo.
Lan elan, oeltes. Yanildi, suganda. 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 Sanibona Giu mama ukoza Ongu MEC Waga social development Gizo lupata lulushelo Ngo kubambisana No mtuwa na wasenzu nkulu Uprinz mbongi seni Sizo lupamba lulushelo Sikabangu kutilizo balfusha nege Genze la esi zo bambisana ngalo Mage mboni zanze moye ni mboni nukuti nisa ubambisa nagasele lusheni. Ngi achabula. Ogu ntogo zisaka kulu. Uguti bengfunu kbonti ni angizu wa ini la nikonu. Ngi achogo zi. E, ngi tanda upingelela. Kakulu. Inju nkulu yonke. Kazulu. Si tanda upingelela. Uza wetu, u Prince Mbongseni, ongu co-program director, bese si bingelela, onga ngezwe lake. U Prince, inkosi, u Misu Zulu, kazuel tini. Yai nchini. Bese si bingele la kulu, kubantu ana bonge basi njunguulu. Si baboni le abantu ana bese njuzonge si ya bingele la kulu, si ya chogos. Gi bingele le la kulu, kumtu ana wawa pindenge ne. Mtu wana uteles Gibingelela Kwinjo fugasi Ukwa bin Gibingelela Kwinjo fugasi Uganto mbel Sibingelela Kupona bonke onju nkulu wabakona Onju nkulu abakona Abango mgangosi Sia bingelela sia tobe kakakulu Simbonile unju nkulu Oshale eminati Unju nkulu gamafu 
Sambona unjungulu. Okona na msanje unjungulu uganjovu. Sambona, sababona unjungulu. Aba ningi kotwa. Ngiafisu guti. Kukona unjungulu. Kona unjungulu. Aba ningi. Kotwa ngiafisu kagambisa. Uguti kukona unjungulu. Wesilo esbusayo. Unjungulu. Uga maisela. Unjungulu esilo. Ngea karambisa futi Onjungulu abakona Bonke Iga kulu Parati kwetu Ukona Abantwana Ama zinyane esilo Gwabonile Ama zinyane esilo akona Abantwana abase njungulu Bonka abakona Parati kwetu Kuhulmeni wetu Ukona iskoko Undosi, o ministro é tu, o peritel. Angas que não mau escoco, o se escoco na manja. Para ti que é tu, para ti que é tu, o cona o primeiro o sugo, primeiro é tu, o do macuco, simelane. Nimboni legi kwa sasa ne, esse le tu zewe silo. Kandi parati kwe tu kukona usinga aye. Umama upani mapena. U Amanda ika malaki. U MEC waka sports, art and culture. Usinga aye ege magunji. Silo eskulu, gibone isi bindi zendio mbazani. Isi bindi nga asho ngati. Na bage o mama na zigi ndombi Ezifana nendrofugaz mtani Nga asho ngati Uleli Laga nendrofugaz ka mtani umtani ya Nga bona istombe Sentogazi Eya lenza izwe le tulaga zulu Laba ilende li yona Silwe skulu E isi tunzi Sikam kabai gacha ma ingo sa zana si vile sasa la sasi pa uma siti songe sasa siti kwenziwani ati umama upani mape na tiki wakona siti ati kwenziwani ati naganja ni sisi zobe si funule skonsa si yakona ani shaili shambelenda kibo nuka wabu ismangali so e Bungi kumbuzela mkawe zibona yo Bafusa ushevane emzimbeni Ngati au isilwe sbuzile Isilo umshogo mbana Uguba usekona Ngabe utinaguge aktanda yo Na mtanje izindomi zisela Zisheli lazifu anelu basho zisale kona Zisheli lazifu anelu bakona Zisheli ngezi zota Sia mbonga, ugutili fuso ele lisigo, lezi ndombi. Ngitanda se mbinge lele, ugbinge lela inyo si esilo. Ese buzile umbaba, umsindazwe. Kuti masi bona inyo si, siti na ingo ele ndala. Baba umsindazwe, umenjalo. E ngitanda umbingelela Kubona bonke abantu abakona Iga kulu nginge ilibale Ingozi Ubaba ushinga Ye traditional house Ngibingelela Bonke abakona ngimbonile Ngimbonile Baba uzigalala Waka kokta Mbonile ubuholi Obusuga Eletis later Gibonile mbonke ubuholi Koto ngea tanu kagambisa Uguti lo mtimbi Uhanjelwe Abantu abazi members Parliament National 
ngoba umcimbi lo oseduze kakhulu kwenhliziyo eh ka president ukuba khona kwezithunywa ezisuka kwi parliament national kusitelile ukuthi ngonyama yethu ivunyiwe ivunywe yonke indawo siyakujabulela ke sizoqhubeka ke nohlelo ngithanda ukubingelela amakhosi wonke asendlunkulu makhosi asendlunkulu siyabingelela kakhulu zonke izinduna ezikhona siyabingelela kakhulu sibingelela nono mehlo ozingaya basigadelela abantwana waze wamkhulu umsebenzeni wenzayo siyabingelela nakinike abantwana bami sincoma ukuziphatha ukuzigcina kwenu nabalekela izifo eziningi ezikhona nabalekela konke nathi sifuna ukuzigcina ukuze ngeli nyilanga sibone ikisasa eliqhakazile akube njalo akuyiwe eh sizocela ke ukuthi sizocula ihubo lesizwe national anthem sizozotha ke ngiyazi ke ngenze ukuthi bakhona abafaka iziqoko bazozikhumula bese iqala inational anthem abe uniform abasikhumuli lesi somsebenzi isiqoko ulekileke ukuthi umabe khona phakathi kwethu sibaqhakambise ngoba yibo abasisondezayo uma izinto sezizimbi eh siyathokoza kakhulu eh njengamanje ngizoqela ukuthi siphakamise uChaplain wethu angimboni uChaplain Sino Royal Chaplain la okona esimphakamisela ukuthi asiphe umyalezo bangumlomo kankulunkulu uqobo lwakhe
Christo in Gose, O Christo in Gose, Nabengalela Silves Kulu, Gonyama, Mdana Oga Pindangene, Nazozonke, Emmanuel, Eshon Pigile, Ekona, Zofunda Gafishane, We shall get the word of God from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 25, few verses I shall read. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten bright maids who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five who were foolish did not take enough oil, olive oil from their lamps, but the other five were wise enough to take a long extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, they were roused by the shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and meet him. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We do not have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some of yourselves. But while they were gone to buy oil, the bridegroom came then those who were ready went with him to the marriage feast, and the door was locked. Later, when other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside, calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back, Believe me, I don't know you, so you too must keep watch, for do not know the day or hour of my return. Namaka Mama Fishani. Namaka Mama Fishani. Silas Kolo. Ngonyama. Lapa wa liti zulengo siwagu ne ntombezi li shumi. E ntanu pagati we ntombezi li shumi. Zai petama futa e bani nzazo. Zongale zi ntombezi li shumi. Zai lindi le. Zilindu mieni, zonke zai peti bani. Watu meshugo kona la, leze ntane shagan pile, iban zazo, liti paipe zazi na mafuta. Leze ntane zizi wula, liti paipe li, iban zai peti bani. Gota mafuta engeko. Zonke ege, ishumle ntombi, zai shezi ndawonye, zilindu mieni wazo. Leze zinye gota mafuta ingeke ibane in, ibane in zaz, magabongo lungulu. Umye nwa figa, paka tuwa mabili, zafu uswa zonki intombi, kwa tuwa fugani, nangu umye nese figile. Umaifuga lezi intombe zili ishumi, leze ishagan pile intanu, zala iti iban zazo. Leze zizi wula, zati bota tewetu, sipena mafuta gwa wenu. Zati leze shagan pile gwezi ziwula. Hambani niyo watenga mafuta gwabata isayo. Magabongu lungulu. Ngezkati isa hampilege leze ziwula. Ziyo tenga mafuta wafigu mieni. Zangene tilin lo mshato leze nchanu. Zati maifiga lezi. Ezi ziwula. Ebe zina ishinze ganga nga mafuta ibanini. Zafiga selngeni tili, watu mieni angnazi. Ngakoge, nifunu kutina mshanje intombi. Ugulala ndawonye kwe intombi, e shagan pile, nezi na shagan pile. Aguze enzi ifane. Ugupata kwa zo izibani. Agushu kuti zonke, guzo zonke ibanza zo, agushu kuti kona mafuta. Aba zibona ayo, ba zibona ziafana, le zintombi, e zili shum. Gukone na nhamba na abola pe mshangin. 
Godwa basale nkeleni. Ngobi nkela inde. Ibani sabo. Zati ima nkeleni. Godwa. Usatane. Impilo ya busatane waikegeza. Zati imi banzabo. Umaben mbona nechula. Niza lape mshangeni. Bakali nyembezi. Ngobaba ya suguti nabo. Bage bahamba nani. Magabon kulunguru. Ngakoge. Ukuhamba ndawonye kwe ndombi Agushu kutizi afana Kwa tumeshu kwa wazo Amafuta aseiba nini Nilapage Zintombi matota gazi Esilo Kate mzogwe tulu mshanga Engonyameni yetu Ngoba ni peti ibani Zenu ziafuta Inga kingonyama Ikone la nina Ukuzon busisa Ne ibani zenu Eifutayo Ukulungulan busisa Maskulege Kulungulu somanza Wena owa ukona gunga gabibi kuluto Ngunkulunkulu owa kuluma peigweze Kwa vela uto Ngoba unguma kuluma gwenzege Umlomo unga wateti amanga Site kwa malala la pazulu la mazulu Kulungkulu onwele nwele Sikulegela Lezi ingane nkulungkulu Ezi zimbali zesizwe Bayete sangalezo Nkwela bagiti ingane zingabalegi Gikwela ni ngabalegi nzoli mazana Please Nkwela batu wana bengene Pakati kwe ingane bebo nukutuka mbakanjani Mkala zinga balegi, abatu wana bengos, nina besilo. Mkala nge ni pakati kwe ingane, zoli mazana, please. Nina bendu. Sikulegela ge umoya wako nkulu nkulu. Umoya oinwele, olu paka, oisibani. Esikosha amanza obu mnyama. Ukuba utungelege gule zingane gule zintombi Zize zikule zibe isisegelo Ogwa kelega pezi kwa so ubuntu Kulungkulu onwele lapagu kona kona Ni api Ugu zitanda ni konipo Eka meni liga jesu Melana na yonki mwemi ipi Etunga iswe Ne tunga isizwe kufuge ubuntu kwa kege ubuntu ne tonipo sikulege kameni liga chesu imoye mibionke aina sabelo na gule ndao kulungulu ngoba ndao ya kole ni waya chuka nsela lengonzo sikulege kameni liga chesu wena nkulungulu walipaga misa la weka onka manye Goba hilo wa ituma nisang halo ne zoni. Hilo no tetele la ngali zoni. Hilo ngulu ngulu la likama. Ne zone ifinye le la ngalo guwe. Yeno kone busa nawe no moe ngwele. Kulu ngulu mwenye njalo kuzikbe pagate. Amen. Siabo. Zingane zam. Sikule gile lapa. Na iso lo besenzu mkulego. Akomo ya mubi, ona sabelo gulendawo. No watu anje, si ucheni kuta uhambu yonge na walasha. Umo ya mubi kulule gani? Nina be silo, sanga no mshabati, silo sama banda. Ndu nangulwe silo sama zulu, mdo na wapinda nge niko sisi silo sama telezu, weno enlovu. Lovgazu kwa bini Mwane Ndu nkulu ndombela Ndu nkulu wesundazwe Obamile makujwa Nkosi ushinga Omga nkosi Ndu nkulu wakalu nizulu Ndu nkulu wasondini Ndu nkulu ukwa bini Ndu nkulu ndombela 
Na yonke nye indungulu enga ibonanga ekona. Sian bingela lanta amba manje. Ama kosi ase indungulu ambete ubkosi ili ubkosi. Abatlo nishwa omeya. Ustalo epofulu komit. Uyakwa arte nkalsha. Okona pakatu na malunga atlo nipegile sha mteto sa wazu natal. Ungongoshe kwa zulonke undosi. Usngaye that way to Ungonga Shonoza way to. The Kalulu Telosil Patega and Tonipo, Batonisha, note that way to Nanganze to Moba Umkin below was in Lungulu of Nesu Patanga's daughter. Spong a Gumfundi Sural Chaplain Unjomane, when I got pepe. Spong a Nobabumbata, Nkule, Umkulego corner, a Batonisha, Omeaba corner, district Nongoma. Na wabonga mayo wenye mama district na malokal za kona Amato nisho oso mlomo Amato nisho ama kanzela etu akona pati wetu Sian bingelele Ngokulu wi toba pestela umgangosi Ndungulu ukwabini ndovgazi ya silo soke tomtandayo Usemuge ile ektegeni liga mamong Ngoba uwena gamsuelo kona Uwena gantuzo kona Uwena tomozi lo kona. Uguba use mugele, usipa mazogwe mugele ekaya. Mgankosu. Bayeti. Wene windu. Kwenye ni mkosu. Kwa na wapinda ngeni. Ondu mkulbo nka bakona. Lionke, Nabantana Bonk, and the Sisu Sonk Scazulu and Bingel Sabongakulu Pumele Laguin Sibonilu Tai Nifosil Nifosim Pella, Goba Bukonis in Desin Tial Unukulu go away to Enzo Musa, Jobasin Bonaninga Gans. Siabonga Kulu, Uba Konaguen, Amakosa Saint Lunkulu, Abantuana Bekos, Nessus Sonkes Kazu, Siane Mugelag, Moba Gugue Nulap, Siane Mugela Nonke is his wen in the Kulegil, no nom Tebe Wenu, any Mona Pambu Wenu, Naba Saint Lunkul Bonk, Siabo. Lam Nando Sugu is a Samugel in Jov Gaz Kusuguti, Sesna Kulula, Nabakogama Panji Bakulule, a Paratigue to Sizotella, Sishueleza, a Guisilus Kulu, Sishuelezella, who acting premier way to Umas Milan, Uguti, Sizotella, Silo. Akale eze na pambili azo kulum. Sizinga unga suguma masimilane ukulume. Simishwele zela ndaba e, nina makeba. Kune zindo ez putumayo njengo baisimo sinji. Sia bingelela. Go program director Bubabili Utatewe to Umama Ukoza Ongo Noshe Waga Social Development Sibingelele Nagumtuana Sibingele Landab Sibingelela Gokulu Uguitoba Guisilo Sababanja Bayet When I went roof Sibingelela Gondrunkulu Eh, Unrukulu Kwabini, Ose Samgele, Sia Bingele Lantunkul, Spingelele Gundrukulu, Untombela, Spingelele Gundrukulu, Mandrov, Non Runkulu, Mafu, Spinde Sibingelele, Non Rugulu Gamaisen, Ebeses Bingele Lango Kulu Guitoba, 
Gumtwana u Prince M. G. Butelezi. Opinde Abe Undu Nankulu Esi London Tunakulu Agwa Zulu Siya Bingelela Sheng Siya Bingelela Kbantwa Nabonke Abako Nabasendu Nkulu eh, Si Bingelele Kustalo We Provincial House of Traditional Leaders Inko Osi Ushinga Siya Bingelela Ndabezit Si Bingelela Gwiti Mba El Kamuga Eswatin Elina Ati Namtlanje Ii Tunwa Zonke on the visit, eating balasa swati ngati ilone lhamba pambili. Sibingelela, itunywa zonke kamuge Afrika. Na semtabe nuwonke sisboni les figures ingena. O munga meli bonka bakona. Umongo she ona atiwe tuga zelonke uba bauke le sibingelela ndosi. O umongo she besfunda zwe saga zulu natal. U mama ukoza, no mama u amanda pa ni pena. Ma pena. <laughs> Ma pena. Si vingelela. I amalunga onke shayam ted. Akon. Si vingelela. Guma kantela na ma no me ya bonke abanati. Si vingelele abe zindaba. I hambeli zonke esinazo. Koto kulu ga kulu. Sibingele lagini ndombi na mtanje san monan. Ni apila. Gumna ndukbala. It's nice to be here. Hai ngiaboni mpen. E, Ndabezi ta ngitunyiwe la umama utatewe tu u premier umama unomsa tube ngube. Ubeta anda uguti ngabe uye nange mpela na ye Gulo mkiti omute ganga gana mtanje wokala Emfa kwe mnyaga embili uguti kupe uye na okulumayo Koto angenga yomsebenzi omtatile wa misa pesheya Kwa sekpote gage uguti agashie Undu na nkulo bambile nje ongoba esa hambile Koto uyasho umama 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 tube ngube uguti ka Uyasho nipaka kulu E istalo, uya pkloni paka kulu kosi futi, uya kjable la uguti lizu la figa lolu sugu. Si zwilege uguti utatewechu, umama umapena, uibambezi shisa. Si abonga kakulu utatewechu nga la umazu. E, ngifisa ukala ndabezi chango guti. Nga pamgo utiskale skulume gonge sizo kuluma. Ngiafisa uguti sige sugume, sike bise ama kand. Angisho ge gwisilo e, na makosi. Koto wa chinabanye, ngiakela sugume, sike bise ama kand. Uguze, sithonipe, abantu, abashone bapela engozi, nebiso pongolo izolo. Lapo okshone ingane, e, kishe zibo u 17, ngeskate sotwa. Koto wa sicheliwe ge manje, uguti sekshone bonga katebe kone motue ni ababa u 21. Engozi ni enyanti saikaz. Siyakela ge uguti sugume, sikobe ama kand. Siyo wenza lente biza nguguti in moment of silence. May their souls rest in peace, Siabo. Nabezita, loko wenze gili zolo, guwe enye zezi nto ezi senza, si patege gabiga kulu su hulume ningo basibona gui ingozi, enye ye ingozi ezi nyantisi kazi gakulu eza geza zenze gakule provinsi ya wazulu natali. Ogupshu nga kulu, uguti gula bantu aba u 21 asebezu lile mtabeni. Ini ngi yabo zinga anezi ngane. Gukona ngisho inga anezi na 6 years imbala. Siafisa age ukali sana ne mdeni. Siti gui mdeni yabo si zoba nabo, si nabo. Siakela uguti unkulu unkulu engati. Angaba toba inti ziyo. Siazu guti lesisimo. Isimo esi ngachwa eleki. 
Futi ogu kulu guti umangabe ugu zotule mshabeni Inga nena six years, nena seven years nga lendela Umzali utalu ibuzu guti buwenze ni wena Kotwa ge eh, aba, siyakela uguti abefundi sibetu Na bobabe na ati basize uktandazisa Leminde ni uguze iguazu uguti ilu legule sisimo eh, Ngendela ugu yona yona um, on, 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 she, eh, ababili umfue tu usipotlo muga no mfue nota tewe tu mbali freza ubaba utlo muga o oh, ngongo she wezo kututa upepa no kutunya niswa kompagati sebe kalilege na mtanje bahambela le mindeni beyo bona uguti gupu hulumeni angabasiza ngako abambisane na abogule sisimo esinzi magangaga ababegene nazo sesi kshiloge gonke loko gotwa Ndabezi sasi afisu kushu kuti na mshanje Usugu olkulu kakulu Usugu olu sijablisa ayotina Jenge sizwe sama zulu I COVID-19 ya figa ngo 2020 Ya gvala gonke esasi gwazi Ya gvala gonke esasi chwaele ugu gwenza Kwa potega ugu tingisho Umkosi omlanga ofana na lo unga gwazi uguti Suba mbenge nga yoguti Kwa gu umasha ya pute Noma i umasha ya pute Le esasi na yunga neso skati Kotwa Sesu kwa zilege uguti Si ngobe ganyane ganyane Sagwa zuguti slanga nina mtanja Gyas chabuli sageti na jenga mazulu Uguti sigwa zuguti size slanga ne La esiteli kona Sizo bungaza ubuti na jenga bantu Patubuti na njenga mazulu ika kulugazi. Siazu guti lesi sizwe. Sabu mbega sakiwa inkosu shaka kasenza ngakona. Ile mbele kama nye amanya malembe ngukalipa. Siafisa age uguti i history no magonke. Owa gwenziwa. Kunga bi tina esikfela mate. Tina jengo hulumeni wawazulu natal. Siazbo pezela. Silo. Uguti ngege sibe ipati alabo bantu. Aba fela mate ikacha ya kwa zulu ngoba singa mazulu. Si azbo peze la uguti njenge, njengo buholi ba kwa zulu natal. Kuhulumeni, sio bambisa na nesilo nendu nkulu. Ngasoso onke iskati, ukuze isizwe sagiti sigwa zuguti sikubegele pambili, sigwa zuguti stutuge. Si shilo oge uguti sitanga nungo kala na mtanje, emba kwe COVID-19, ea ispokile. Uguti slale makaya singa gwazi, uguti slangane. Gonyago jule, sigesa za muktabangu, uguti mtambe. Umkosi wa mtanga, singa gwazi, uguti su mtanga nise. Kotwa, sase sese velelo aishwa. Loguti ungangezwe lake. Akota ame, sanga besu gwazi, uguti skubege ngoba sasi zilile. Kotwa, lo mkosi gewa na mtanje. Umkosi wa kala, sese jule guzo zonke, leso inkinga. Ebe si pegene nazo. Ese si jule gulo wonke. E, ifu elimiyama. Ebe le singa mile. Tina jenge sfunda azo. Saka zulu natal. Kotwa tina jenga mazulu. Iga kulugaz. Uhulu menige. Uyaz bopeze la ekte. Nuzo kubega njalo. Ulbambe ikaza. Ulsapote lolu telo ngoba. Ulelo lolu tina jengo hulu meni. Esbonu uti luba legile. Luba legi lengoba, lusiza ingane zetu. Uguti zigwazi, ukfunda, uguti, ugu ipata gate, ugu indenjani. Ingane zetu zingezwa emkwa kweni, uguti uguze zibe hii ama, ama koskazi akoto in future. Funa benze ganjani. Kanti umaskubega na lolu telo. Ingane zetu ziafunda gitina na go mama. Aba ifundi sayo na batala nazo. Uguti indombi ipata ganjani Siabonga ge indombi ne ingane zetu Uguti njeo bani seli lana pamguetu Niastembisa futi niastembisa uguti nizio kubega Nogu ipata gate ni kubege Neguba indombi angitu kunjalu Nizio kubega nibe indombi Siafisa ge ugusho uguti Jengo hulu meni wakwa zulu natal no muhulu meni kazwe lonke. Sia kizelela kweze mpilo uguti uguze umuntu avigelege 
asibe nalo uhlelo esilibiza ngokuthi ABC u A O abstain B be faithful u C u condomize kodwa eyinganeni nakulabo abangakahleleli ukuthi sebe ready ukuba o mama siya ku emphasize ukuthi let's abstain u abstain ke usho ukuthi asingayi esikhathini asingayi ocansini singakabi ready sisebancane asihlele sifunde sithi sesibadala umuntu eseshadile ebe seseyakwazi ukuthi ayivumela yena ngoba usuke sazi ukuthi uvumane lolu hlelo ke lokuhlola kwentombi kuyahambelana nalo lohlelo likahulumeni lokusapotha intombi ukuthi ziphathe kahle ukuze zingayitholi sezikhulelwa futhi zikhulelwe zisencane zingayimisele sibonileke ukuthi kwiprovinsi yakwaZulu Natal sibone ingane iningi eyikhulelwayo zisesesikolweni zikhulelwa ukusuka iminyaka ewu10 years ziyaphezulu ingane ke na 10 asicabanga ukuthi khona into eyaziyo ngocansi kodwa sizibonile ingane ikhulelwa siyathemba ke ukuthi zoqhubeka sibambisane nendlunkulu ngalolu hlelo sibambisane nobuholi bama district ukusapotha lolu hlelo lomkhosi womhlanga ngoba uma ngabe sifuna ukuthi liphumelele kufuna sonke sibambisane sibambisane ukuze sikwazi ukuthi ingane zethu siyifundisa into eyodwa siyisonke sibambisene ukuze nani zintombi ngelinye ilanga nifaniswe nomthaniya nifaniswe nomkaba ikajama kubalulekile ukuthi nisheshe nifunde kuse nesikhathi nifunde nise bancane nifunde njengoba nifundiswa manje into enifundayo uma nihlelela umkhosi womhlanga siyazi ukuthi akusiyo into efundiswayo eyikolweni zethu yingoba sifundisa indlela yokuphila indlela yokuphila ke ayikhe ekolweni so uyafunda esikolweni uphinde ufunde uma ngabe uhlele ekhaya siyabonga ke nakulabo o mama okuyibona abanibhekayo ukuthi baqhubeke nalolu daba baqhubeke nokusisiza baqhubeke nokubambisana nohulumeni ukuhlola intombi ngoba sibona ukuthi yona into ezomaintaina ikhatsha yethu thina le ukuyaphambini sesikushilo lokho siyafisa futhi ukusho ukuthi ingane yomfana ndabezitha kubalekile nayo ukuthi ifundiswe ngendlela esifundisa ngayo ingane yentombazana ukuyiphatha uma ngabe singabafundisi abafana bethu bese bancane ukuthi umuntu wesifazane uphatha kanjani sizoqhubeka sibe nenkinga efana nale esibhekene nabo ye gender based violence uma singayikhumbisi sikayifundisi ingane zethu ukuthi umuntu wesifazane akashawa sizoqhubeka sibone ingane zethu uma seyiganene zishayana singazi ukuthi sizokwenze njani kugcine kukhona nalaba babulawayo ngenxa yokuthi bahlukene noma baxabene nalaba bazwana nabo siyathemba ke ukuthi lolu hlelo lokufundisa abafana nalo luzoqhubeka ukuze bonke bazi ukuthi kufuna babambane kanjani udade wethu u Amanda Mapena umgxeli ungqole ungqoxelile ukuthi undlunkulu ka Maisel unohlelo lokufundisa abafana sengize ngiyenzile ke commitment yokuthi umnyango wezempilo uzoba nohlelo noma uzoba ne partnership nondlunkulu ngalolo hlelo lolo ngoba sibona ngathi uhlelo lwethu lolo oluzokwazi ukuthi lusize nathi njenge province ukusebenza ndawonye sibambisene nomama ukhoza ngoba naye uyakwazi ukuthi unazo inhlelo eyikhuluma nokukhulisa abafana sesigcina ke ngoba akumina isikhulumi sosuku siyafisa ukuthi sinexwayise ingane zethu ukuthi akufanele sihlukumeze noma sisebenzisa amadrugs noma ujwala enye into esiyibonile le kwisociety esiphila kuyona ukuthi sengathi sekuyifashion ukuthi uma ngabe ingane yentombazana ingaphuzi kusho ukuthi ayihlakaniphile 
Siyakela ke inganenze chukuti. Kelela nani no chwala ngoba. Umani nga kelela nani no chwala. Iyo nanto leyo. Ezo gwenza uguti. Impilo zenu. Zinga ipambili noma. Imoshe ifyucha yako. Gendela ogate ufisa ngayo. Sengkina ke bayete. Undu nankulu ute. Ukela ngilulise. I message eti. Uzo leta bonke. O ngongo shebake. Azo betula officially. Gubayete. Njongo bakitale gwenzeke. Uma befiga. Bazo besebe vumela na ngamunye ngamunye. Uguti hizi ipi ntelo. Abazo zenza nendungulu. Bazenze nubayete. Uguze sikuwa azuguti sebe zenda wonye. Ugea pambili. Iloyo ge umyalezo. Ebe ngule tile. Ngutunye undu nangulu. Siatemba uguti sizo wazu. Uguti skubege. Si sebe nze. Ngentela. Ente. Nani ngente lebe sebe nza ngayo. Nomdongo mbani. Siabonga kakulu bayete. Sponge by Eddie Sangalezwe, and do not go to see Amazulu, Stalin, the Amaco, six for Nazazu Natali, Sponge Amazui, Kandunangulu, West Fundazwe, Okulugui Toba, Bessese Kanjang, Oba Boktua, O acting premier, Gukona, a program, Mtati, Amtata, or Sangalezo, and Aznum Bakulegile, Mabing Akulegile, Funing Gome in San, Lapems and Wengos. Zo kela ke umeya we Zulu land, ezo simogela mkanluini ngoba wiena meya sokaya o petele sisfunda sase Zulu land. Baete Zulu lpe Zulu, sile skulu, abapati botlelo, umtua na wasosutu, Nongongo she ukosa, lovgazi ukwabini, indlunkulu yesilo ekona, abantu ana basi indlunkulu, dabesi ita, undunankulu yesilo, umtu ana wagua pindangene, abashone ishwa ongongo she bonke abakona. Umshone ishwa ungongoshe wa mapoisa. Umnomzane upegitele. Amalunge palamende akona. Amakosi asindungulu. Uroyal chaplain umfundisi umshongo. Nabobonke abefundisi abakona. Uslalo wendru ya makosi kwa zulu natali. Inkosi ushinga. Uslalo womea bonke kwa zulu natal. Ongumea wa seking rechwayo. Umshonishwa untuli. Mea ya wanongoma. Ukantela umwango. Induna eikona. Na bobonke abasabele ikwelo lesilo. Uguti babela pana mshanje. Jengo basi zobu ngaza intombi. Mkosi nwazo. Eka meni lomkandru wa se Zululand. Gusniga intogozo enkulu sangalezwe. Uguba se julise amazwi ogwa mugela. Zonke ihambeli ze silo. Ei kamuga esfundazwe nisonke sa kwa zulu natali. Ei kamuga ei fundazwe nisonke za seningzim Afrika. Ei kamuga ei zweniga zilonke la se Afrika. Nei kamuga peshe ya gwe iluante. Uguba zizo gwe tamela umkosi omkulu gangago. Lapa isilo sizo kuluma ni itombi. Ugwa ka ismilo. Nogfuselela uweze temba pagati kwa zo. Uguzelezi imba lize sizwe. Zibe ngabaholi bakisasa. 
siswela mandla silo ngoba konke esikwaziyo ngobukhosi sikufundiswe ngumntwana wakwaphinda ngene siswela mandla ngoba kuyasithokozisa ukubambisana nohulumeni wesifundazwe kodwa ziningi intombi eyisele ngemuva eyitopini ngoba inhlelo ezinye zingahlelwanga kahle umntwana wasungula umnyango wesilo okuthiwa i department of the royal household siswela amandla silo ngoba siphethe ngoba umnyango wesilo yiwo owawukwazi ukuthi uhlanganise ubeke esigabeni esifanele imkhosi efana njengalena kuyosithokozisa ukuba umnyango u department of the royal household uphinde ubuyiswe silo njengoba umntwana wakwaphinda ngene ayewusungulile kwaku umnyango obhekene ngqo nemsebenzi yesilo nemkhosi efana njengalena ngenxa yokuthi lo mnyango awusekho sekuvele kusukume nomubane ekseni abhale incwadi abhale silo izinto eyiphazamisa ukusebenza kubkhosi ngakho ke kusinika intokozi nkulu ukuthi amabutho alapha neintombi zilapha ukuzosho silo ukuthi sisemva kwakho zule liphezulu singabakho silo hayi ngoba kukhona abasifake imali entashingeni abeka abasifake imali nandingeni sini sisemva kwakho ngoba singabakho sile sikhulu sifisa ukuthi konke okuzoqhubeka kuqhubeke ngomoya omuhle wokuthula ukhule ngunomnyama uzibe ngange intaba zondi nokhahlamba bayede shenge siyathobeka kakhulu umeya wethu uma esesamukele bantwana bami ngiyabona kukhona ukunyakaza kanti sisizwe esaziwa ngenhlonipho isizwe esizithobile samazulu sizocela kube khona ukuhlala phansi nilalele zonke inkulumo zimfushane uhlelo luyashesha sizocela ab... izintombi mazihlale phansi onomehlo abaselekelele O mama ono mesho mabasi legelele mazisale panzi izintombi Agu zuba kona luto zulu zulo mushe e, Si kubelega pambili no shelo Si bonile kona uguti intombi Zingango zulu e makeni Si reskulu Si togozela kakulu Ugufuselelo wale lisigo Si azi indrofugazi yayithanda kakhulu ukuvuselela amasiko silwe sikhulu uhlanganwezwe siyathobeka kakhulu uma uhlanganwezwe liphinda liqhuba liqhuba lolusiko usiko luhle lwabantwana hlala niphansi ke zonke izintombi mazihlale phansi zilalele inkulumo ezikhona ngizocela i message of support esizoyenzelwa inkosi e, ushinga uchepesin we KZN Provincial House. Ipeteke i traditional leadership na lulu shanga luama koisan. Ndabezit. We na we love. We na we love. Bayete. Itoko za kakulu. Bapatuboseno. Ikuleke esilwe nsa mabanda. Kuleke 
Konjungulu, Jungulu Esilo, O Mama Besilo, e, O Koko Besilo. Kulege kumtu anaka pindangene. Bingelele, abashonishu abakona. Beka bazonke, ze parliament del kulu, ne parliament del nan. E, abandu anabase njungulu. Amakosi, uonka yase njungulu. Amabuto, zinduna. Izindombi, zonke, zikona paka tukwe tusanbo nani. E, Ngiatoko za kulu, ukutona leli tuba. Logu tinamike ngimelapa. Gizo legelela. Gizo supporter. Lomkribi omuslega ngaga. Use shiloge. Obambe islalo skandu na kulu. West fundazo sagiti. Kutisuloge strine i covid Inga gabi kona, ukutisota nga na lapa, si chabule, e, si boni intombi zetu, ingane zetu, zizi ntlega njena. Gijulisa ke ukbonga ke, ema kosini ase njungulu. Guguti asnigeze abandwa na babo, ingane zabo, uguti zizi zizo vela pamu kwa baba wazu, isilosa mabali. Sia kuchabla la kulo kumakose enguenza ayo. Kwa kuko kunye, alike linye kaya letu. Aiko inzungkuli yetu enye ekona kapandi wale suguyo na mshanji. Sikona, sia isapote nga yonki nlela. Kyo yona yonki imkosi ezo kwenziwa. Jengo banange sondo elzayo. Sizo besi kona, lapu kuchwa kona umkosi welembe. Silwe skulu, aguko na hapo, uyo, uyo tukona, singa bikona, singa makos, esifundazo. Sizmisele nga yonki ndela, uguti, izizwe zetu, e, nanga lolo sugu, lapo kiyobe kutocha koni silo, kuka hulumeni. Isizwe songe, spume ngotiluazo. Pume wonga makumba mane, esifundazo, sagiti kwa zulu natali, sizoba ofagazi. Sizo kwalisa ukuthi isilo ngese tu songe. Sizo bonga kakuluge futi kuhulmenu etu. Kukuti basilegelele kanye nomea betu. E, Uhulmende wetu wange nomea. Ekten bagwazu kusilegelele singa makos. Kukuti sikuwazu kuleta bandwa na betu. Beze lapa e, mkosi na omkuluga ngaga. Sifisa ukuti kelo mkosi. Ukule unyaga nonyaga. Jowa isilo setu sesi kona nje. Siyazi uwe kona ubihikli hikli. Uwe kona lapu uwe kona ukitijeka kona. Kwa rake ngokchemba uguti. Nangu umkaya ukona. U ngongo shewe tukazwe longi wezo kupepa. Beng neltembe ilkulo uguti. Undo si haiki ndio eyo gona gala. Umesa kona pakati wetu. Stembi sayo kutike gogla ndilayo. Abazali, eh, noma spala, ababa wakipa nabandu wana ngopelele, ngopa nabandu wana emuwe kaba kala, kutipa salega njani, bebezi misele kutipa fige, bonke, bazo nandisa lumkimbilo, joba sabona na manjena, umutlangu sa kupuga, indo mizi obega. Silo skulu, siafisa ke uguti, usale u, u, Sikale si nawe njalo. E, Siku sapota njalo. Ugyo na yonke mtu imbia seli lungulu. Singa makosi esifundazwe. E, Sizo kilegele langa. Sonke skati. Sizo bakona njalo. Ekcheni yonke imitu imbi. Enzo wa eli lungulu. Nala pui singu isilo sikona nje. Noma zingabe sifakashela. Ifu ifu nda zonke. Sio besikona. Goba siafisu kuti isilo setu. Izo longe, la kwa zulu, na sezwe longe, libe, sibe ingwenye yetu. Umpakatu wonge, isizwe songe sazi, isilo setu. Silo setu, sinogu kanyo kulu, singa makosa kwa zulu. Ngoba siyazi, nange sikati sika mdogo mbaane. Isizwe sa kwa zulu, besikio nipega, ezizwe nizonge, zinye zikona, 
kuzona zonke ingonyama ezikhona ezweni lethu lase South Africa nase zweni lase Africa ni lonke siyafisa ke ukuthi namanje na ukuphuma kwethu ngomningi bethu nangokuzinikela kwethu ukuthi sisibuyise leso sithunz so ukuthi of course besilo sethu ubuyele lapho umdlokombane ayibeke khona sikhona ke silo sethu siyohlale njalo sikhona emva kwakho ukuze lesi asithunzi ebe sikhona singanyamalali singashabalali sengihlala phansi ke ngibonge kakhulu eyintombini omama abangono mehlo ondlungulu eh namakhosi asendlungulu ngokuthi basiboleke ingane zabo ukuthi zize emcimbini omuhle kangaka namabutho namakhosi asendlungulu akhona phakathi kwethu nomphakathi wonke okhona ukuthi si ngoba sonke siyingxenye yakwazulu Natal futhi iningi lethu liphuma khona endaweni zasemakhaya eyindaweni eziphethwe ngamakhosi ikoke ngesithi ke phathi ohlelo sengihlala phansi sibonga kakhulu ukuthi sitholele lithuba singamakhosi wena we love wena we love bayede ndabesitha sibonga kakhulu siyathobeka kakhulu hlangaleze kunesasasa elikhulu ngendlela esimangaliso izintombi ziphamba zikhululekile nangu umhlanga siyawubona ulo uqhubekile nje umhlanga sithi phambili ihlangalweze nokugcina amasiko isiko elihle kangaka isiko lethu elenza izintombi zizigqaje ngobubona sisikhumbuza eh zisikhumbuza inkosazana kosazana kajama umgaba ikajama uhlelo ke malinikezwe ethina si njengoba ngiyumama nje ngiyazigqaja ikakhulu engizigqaja ngazo ukuthi lapha kwaZulu liyaqhakanjiswa isiko bayaqhakambiswa abantu besifazana sambona eh sibonile ngesikhathi kubizwa nje indawo ukuthiwa kweli kamthaniya okusho ukuthi cha bayaqhakambiswa abantu besifazana sifisa kwande nakwezinye izizwe ngisho ukuphatha abantu besifazane abantu besifazane baphatheke kahle kungabi khona obeka isandla hlangalwezwe kumuntu wesifazane azi ukuthi imbali zesizwe lezi umuntu nje mayizoqaba ngokubeka isandla azi ukuthi usegadlile kuhlangalwezwe uqobo sikhulekile hlangalwezwe hlanga lomhlabathi eh kungikhumbuza loku eh inkosazana umgaba ikajama uma ephuma eyofuna eh umama efunela ubaba usenza ngakhona ebona ukuthi ubaba umkhulisile ubaba wafela nje isiko wangaligcina isiko lokuthi akagwinyiswe itshe elinye lamawele kodwa ngenxa yaloko awo inkosazana umgaba ikajama yaphuma yathi ngiyofunela ubaba uma sahlala kuleli likamthaniya indlovukazi sahlala sikhululekile sizizwa sizindlovukazi kwathina ngoba kwazalwa kwaphuma indle nkulu yenze ngakhona izintombi zazokajama zenze ngakhona kwaqhamuka ubaba ubaba wesizwe ilokho nje esizigqaja ngako zulomuhle zulomuhle asikaze siwubone isasasa elingaka asikaze sizibone iintombi ziyingaka besithe sakala sathi sizoba u7000 bazasitshela kona omehlo bathi ayi inamba endala leyo idlulile iintombi ziyudlulile u10000 sibonga asiphezi sithi izintombi siyabonga kakhulu eh umntwana umbongiseni uzosithulela ingwele endala ingwele esibanga yoke mntwana ngoba siyayibanga abakakhongolo sebayayidonsa ngapha eh naba inkatha bayayidonsa ngapha bese sithi thi nawu siyeza sizozokhothama ngoba othambo 
wazana na bonga mesho hingo lenda ala le otambo wazana na bobe nige zanu msebezi hingo lenda ala ya giti shenge isibonge go emisim uza wetu umpati wa selo sanga lezwe abatu bako laba wabashielo ilembe Mwabilande lana wenu njenga mako setu, njenga intoko setu. So kufika na pesu katini ngela kona, umtu wana wako pinda ngeene, jongo ndu nangulwe siu sa mazulu, na njongo mzugu uluwe nkosi ya sosutu. Silo, siseka kono kumtu wana. Nye ngiti mangetelela, ngiti mabeti bafuna umalume babo bofe katina. Siti tina, si babi za basha. Lapa ngitele mtu wana opinda ngena Ugubenzi msibe nzuwake Awe nza singa gazalwa Ugubea etulo onga ngezwe Gubandu bagaise Gubandu bake Gunga ngawege Wenwe sile smake kwa nasoka mbondi Gunga ngawege Wena mpangala ngangenga hapu mwandunu Gunga ngawege Ngamkala chubale abalegi wombe Kunga nga wakwa wana wangina la masaba tu povo kabliketa. Baet. Sangalevs. Mwana wa silo, mwana wa silo, mwana wa susuchu, mwana wa silo, Ungu ngosho enem kosa, upesi zinza la gashe sule zinza gezi. Umsho ni shau ungu ngosho, umia mama poisha unjosi upagati wetu. Ungu ngosho bonga ba abakona, namchange, ungu ngosho mele unjunakul, sile schoolu. Sangat lezu, agi subega kama, apa yang kau bawa ngau kuci, bawa kau kalau kau bawa apa fundisi, bawa injung kudini, jawas masung, nampu anak office ni ini, injung kuluman jombel, nampu anak orang kosi, om tuan, tulan, bawa ke, ni kami tiga, apa tu solo azi. Nomalo, bapa sangat lezu. Mungkin yang ngah bawa kucing empela, kucing selalu empela, sahun aku. Sangat dia pup, mungkin sangat dia pup. Sangat lezu, tak cumi sa. Bonga sanga dozi na wenzi wanga bafundi isi. Bonga dozi na msa wenzi wenzi leo makaye. Unga unga shawetu. Makoko onke. Choko za kakulu. Hulu meni kwa mbisana kwa tina hulu meni. Mbada ishe inkonya ni ya ukichi mtu inkonya ni zolo. Ishe kona kwa ni zolo. Kora sanga lezwe umjagomba lukona, lukona, zimboni kupela, ula ukona umjagomba. Sanga lezwe, ukiti na sanga lezwe. Sekona gala, sekona gala sanga lezwe. Sia tiumisa, sanga lumsa wati. Sibonga onka makama, nabego ngon ngono, sisi awa bonga, aizi lulego. Mbonga na makama, mgankosi, njubgazi, ewe begileyo. Sibonga nabakona, Kwenye kuhusu silo onyango, kwenye kufela, la ba 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 sisi mishi ba 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 tu mama wake onyango onyango. Kwa lezi, ya jambo la kwa kwa kwenye kuhusu, kwa maafu si abongo kwa kwa kwenye kuhusu, kwenye kuhusu mando, kama kwa si abongo. Siya boni ile songe na mshanji kuchikandi Kali mjokomba na waikani wengempela kali mjokomba 
Hebon Hoshara, Mtaisabela will Peshaya, Uzal Razi, Tau Salem and Lenny, Namaka Salem Slenny, Siku Kunale, Hebon Sigantaba, Siku Kuna Mama Siamajata, Siba Possessi Wasini, Isi Wasness of Fulam Kulu Tuvela, Uta Buelangela Sejoveni, Huka Kamazi, Hagawa Semlani, Amazopa, Ayo Salebaza, Sifu Saika, the Mino. Zipwe <laughs> Zulu, Mdana, Wapindanga, and Makeba, 
Ndlungulo <laughs> Abatwana abangu baba bami mbonge futi na abatwana abangu mkulu bami mbonge kubatwana abangu abafu wetu abakona pagati wetu mtwana ubambindovu mtwana usimengaye mtwana Umtwana wakalindu zulu, umtwana mugelile, numtwana ubizwe kaya, mtoroza kakulu, ninabesilo, uguti mparami sefuti indungulu, ekane o bababami, ninabesilo, nyatoroza, ndukulu, uguti nikona. Sibambisene. Ntoko za kakulu guyo indi nkulu. Abatwana abanga melelu muzi esiguo na mchanji. Ndabizita nyazu uguti nisebe nzeganga ganani uguti lomusebe nzi ukine wenze gile la pekaya nibambisene nundu na nkulu. Inga kugu kutle gunje na nje na msa nje. Owa migu kuti. Nghalali sefuti. Mbonge kakulu. Umsebinzi omse gangaga entena wenza. Wa impumelelo ekinini. Mpinde futi. Mbonge. Sengia. Ngasotelweni. Luami. Mbingelele zukulu kama isela. Mgami ni atogoza slizi sibambi sene na awe. Ngize ngasotli lwini. Luka hulumini Ntokozo yukba kona Pagati kwetu Ngonoshe Kwa mapoisa Ubaba upegi kele Makai Nawe ika lelo lako Namchange likulu kakulu Futili ya monagala Lapekaya Nesizu sonke siyabona Jengoba Sibungaza usu Olkulu gangaga Umsebenzu wako uyabo nagala Pagati wetu Chokoza kakulu makai Dabizi tangi Pagamise ukbonga Okulu Ninabendovu UMC We arts and culture Umama umapena Ogu yena Longkelele vigi Ngoba Inzugu beseite Zati kuspincha Kotwa Pegwa loko Uwazilu kuti Uchanganise konke Ubegmelu kutu Uchanganise Nga lulu selo Lumchanga Nesikati Esfushane gangaga Nga loko Emisi Netimba lako Nya gnoma, nya togoza kakulu.
kanye nomnyango wakho ngibonge kakhulu ukuphakamisa noma engekho unduna nkulu umama umama umadube ngcube unduna nkulu wesifunda ukuthi naye usifakile bakwethu isandla kumhlanga wakhe wokuqala lo eklesi sikhundla kuso kodwa ngokweminyango ubevese unduna nkulu wethu esuka kuze inhlelo zokuhlela umhlanga ngoba ubesebenza kakhulu eduze kwendlovukazi engizalayo kanye nesilo samabandla umdlokombane ngalokho uvuthiwe kuloluhlelo yingakho naye uthe wafaka isandla nokukhola futhi nokufaka ulwazi lokuthi izinto kumele ukuthi zenzeke noma zenziwe kanjani umakhulunywa ngomhlanga ngalokho ngiyambonga kakhulu unduna nkulu kanye ne office lakhe lakwa premium ngiyathokoza nina besilo ngicela ukuthi ngiphakamise ukubonga komama abakhona phakathi kwethu abezivivane ukuthi nabo bana umthelela omuhle wokubungaza lo lusuku lana namhlanje ngoba bangomama abazala nina izimbali zethu siyawaphakamisa kakhulu omama bezivivane bezivivane nohlelo lwabo ngiphakamise ukubonga okukhulu ngingashinga phandle ngokohlelo lwasendlunkulu amakhosi asedlukulu okuyibona ayingubo yobukhosi futhi ayingubo yesihlalo amakhosi asedlukulu ngithokoza kakhulu ukuthi indawo ngihlukana kwazo indawo nge indawo lapha niphethe khona nibambele isihlalo eyindaweni zenu nikwazile ukuthi nilhambise iva ngeli lokuthi umhlanga iintombi ziphume ngobuningi bazo ngothilwazo zikwazi ukuthi zize esigodlweni lakhona kuyikhaya futhi kuyithempela lethu thini azulu esigodlweni sikwazi ukuthi sizohlangana emhlangeni ngoba sihlangana nenje namhlanje ngiyathokoza kakhulu makhosi asendlukulu ngithokoza kakhulu ngiphakamise inkosi uchiliza ngiphakamise inkosi ushinga ngiphakamise inkosi usithole ngithokoza kakhulu makhosi asendlukulu nena bedlovu ngicela ukuthi ngibonge kakhulu umavikela umavikela mbuso umavikela sihlalo umavikela bukhosi umavikela uzulu okungamabutho okazulu ngithokoza kakhulu nina besilo ukuthi nihlezi nikhona eduze kwami sibambisene mabutho kandaba nina besilo okwami namhlanje ukubungaza nokubonga ngibonga ngingaqedi emsebenzini esisuka kuwo ngasasho umsebenzi wasengwavuma umhlanga ukuphela ngibonga yonke imkhosi kusukela eqaleni konyaka uzulu ukubonisile amandla nothando nokukholelwa kumina 
lokho uqale lonyaka ngiyaqala ukubona izintombi namabutho angaka lokho ngazalwa ngiyabonga kakhulu ngalokho ngicela ukuthi ngiphakamise futhi ukubonga okukhulu kini izintombi Zimbali zesizwe siyaziqhenya ngani siyisizwe futhi siyanithanda ngiyabonga kakhulu lokho enikwenzayo ukube niyazi ukuthi khona bazolala ngamadripe ebhedlela namhlanje yole ngamadripe ngithokoze kakhulu ebuthweni elifikayo Salan Pans, Salan Pans. Nina Besilo Ben Sabunga in Bali, the Siswe, Uguti, Jenges Siswe, Eslon Payo, Jenges Siswe. Esaziwa umhlaba wonke ngingasasho iAfrika kuphela ngisho umhlaba wonke saziwa ngoba ngamaqhawe nesibindi futhi saziwa njengesizwe esihlonophayo nesizwe futhi esemukela wonke umuntu ngaphandle kokukumxwaya ngebala noma ngolimi alikhulumayo ngoba uma sikhumbula nina besilo umnikazi wesihlalo ilembe ondlebe ikhanyilanga labamukela ngaphandle kokubaxwaya ngalokhu nina besilo ngiya ekuthini isizwe samangisi eyinchukwini sivelelwe ngokuphlungu kakhulu uthi umubheka isimo 
abaguso njenga manje ngobasi kuluma nathi siphuma kuso leso simo esiphlungu isimo esenza ukuthi kube khona izinguquko uyibuze uyiphendula ukuthi gazizwe libheke iphi uma kunje ngalokho nyazi ukuthi isizwe samangisi sinomlando ongemhle kahle naso kodwa okusalayo bayubkhusi bayubkhusi futhi kwathi uma kwebuza isilo esingizalayo bayithumele ikhalo bathumela futhi nezethulo zokusula enyembezi ngokhamba kokwamdlo kombane nendlovukazi ngalokho zulomnyama ngicela ukuthi singaphindisela okubi ngokubi ngoba bangwazi ukuthi besikhalele sisephlungwini sihlaselwe ifeli mnyama nathi kanjalo siyabakhalisa siyabakhalela sithi madudu kubona kubehlele nenkosi yabo entsha ushalisi wesithathu <laughs> Nina Bendovo Simfisela in Tasha Estalwini Aguso Futi Nyatemba Futi Nyafisa Uti Pambilini Escatine Sizayo Sio Sangana Naya Siguaz Uti Izizwe Zetu Zinga Seven Sana Ganjani in Zela Ea Pambili Nina Besilo Ngelu kuti ngoba sishanga na ngomshanga na mshange na sengwa vuma ngabo shuluku ngati nyambonga umjombane ushangu smaka apa gonya maebo zile kanya nendovgazi enzala yo ukbambisa na guabo. Uvuselela, umkosi womshanga, umkosi womshanga, ngoba ngenga shona sengwavuma, engwavuma, umkulego, umkulego ngoba, nonge ngoba ni la panje, ni netemba, futi ni azuguti, ni ngwele, futi ngaloku. Uksanga na gui tu, jengo ba sanga nenge kanje, niba nenga ngaga ni zinto mbi, do. Unkulunkulu, upagati gui tu jenga manje, uya busisa, futi, uya kinisa, futi, uya shona e, uguti. Use tempeli ni, use tempeli ni ni gelapa zimbali zisizwe, nizo tandaza ngoba nani nizingelo si ngogo ino. Mkeluguti bonda ngai tu, kisha mchampe. Guabanye gini nam samping ngaba umalu me guabanye ngaba mfuin. Kotwa unkulunkulu emu se ebu sisi le sisazo yhamba ngiafisa ngiyanya ngingilosi zalapekaya. Nengai emnyaga engi guyo, 
ngicabanga ukuthi iseyindi indlela esisazo kehamba kanye nani ngokubambisana sibambene indlela eyaphambili ekhanyeni nina besilo ngicela ukuthi ngiphakamise ngenikhumbuze isifunda sakwazulu natali cishe sovumelana amagayi uma kukhulunywa ngokuhlukunyezwa kwabantu besifazane neyingane zulumnyama uyihlazo futhi kubhlungu kimina ekujuleni kwenhliziyo yami ithi nesu number 1 in South Africa yonke kubhlungu ke lokho ukuthi singaba u number 1 entweni impi nina besili kuhle ukuba u number 1 entweni enhle nyabo nyabo ngalokho ngisho ukuthi zonke inhlaka ngokubambisana nomkami wamayisela ngoba usene inhlelo vese apheikwazo eyiqondene nokuhlukunyezwa kwabantu besifazane neyingane nohlelo lokwakha abafana abasebancane ngizobambisana naye kulolu hlelo kulezi inhlelo ngoba ziyiva esizweni sethu noma phakathi kwesizwe sethu ukuthi siyazi kwazulu umuntu esifazane wayehlonishwa evikelwa kanye neyingane njalo kodwa kulesi sikhathi kumele siyinu kamakhwapha nina besilo ukuthi kungani su number 1 entweni embi kangaka akunciphe nina nina besila kunciphe ngikhuluma nje ngalolo lohlelo kuna bahlobo bami engithenga hlala nabo phansi sahlela uhlelo lokuthi kula mafoni esiwaphathayo uyakwazi ukuthi udownload uhlelo esilikhandile ogama lalo ukuthi wayi iris esesifa ke ma university sayifaka kuma institutions amaningi ngenxa njalo yokuvikela umuntu esifazana ukuthi umikhona lento isocingweni lakhe leya kwa iris uyakwazi ukuthi umehlukunyezwa noma ngabe kusendlini noma ngabe kusemgwaqweni noma kukuphi uyakwazi ukuthi athintele app abokuphepha bafike manje ngaleso sikhathi ngiyajabula ukuthi imbali iyakuthokozela lokho niyayidinga le app ngoba ingi yokuvikela nina ngalokho nina besilo abantu mabe bona umsebenzi esiwenzayo ukuzama ukuvikela abantu besifazane neyingane baningi abafuna ukuthi ngokwe inkampani na namasonto na ngokunjalo ukuthi kubanjiswane kulolu hlelo kanye namakhosi ngithi uma ngaphosi silikhona leli tendela kwa iris anolicinganize nilithole ukuze nikwazi ukuthi niphephe likhona nje likhona angasithi lingapha kodwa likhona lona ngoba ngithe abafike bezokwenza uhlelo lwabo ngoba lento abantu abakayazi 
kodwa mhla ilonjwa egoli eqaleni kwalo nyaka ngangikhona futhi isinonyaka nje cishe ihamba lento ye Iris kodwa ngiyan kuthaza ukuthi ke nihambe nuyibheka nena besilo ngiphakamise futhi nohlelo lwemoto lekthu yimasidizi nabo ngokunjalo balingenelo lolu luhlelo kodwa futhi bacilile ukuthi awo masebenza kanye nengonyama siyacela ukuthi sizokwenza umkhangiso wemoto zethu isizwe sibona ukuthi le moto ethiwa yimasidizi yakhiwa kanjani nokuthi ihlobo lunu le moto nabo bakhona bayachasa nakho nabo lokho engikhuluma ngakho ukuvikela abantu besifazane neyingane sengivala ukuphetha kule lo page lokuhlukunyezwa kwabantu besifazane neyingane kukunikhumbuza nje izwe esihlezi kilona lo umama lo umuntu esifazane yingakho ukuthiwa elikamthaniya akushiwe ukuthi elikandaba ukuthiwa elikamthaniya ngoba umama ngalokho ngifisa nibone ezimbali uthando esinalo lwenu nezinhlelo esifisa ukuba zize kunina ukuzonsiza indlela enihambayo empilweni ngokukhula ngoba akekho othe kulula angeke kubelula ngoba vese usathane la kunonkulunkulu khona nosathane ufuna ukuba khona naye uma ngathe usathane xa uhlezi nje ulapha emnyango usathana ulinde ukuthi imvutho leze iwela phansi uyathatha yena ngalokho ke singavumi noma ningavumi izintombi zami ukuba zimvutho ngoba nawa nje hawu unlindile usathana emnyango futhi ke lokho kuwenu kunzima kakhulu ngoba ubonakala kanye nje sekonakele akubuyiseleki ngiyathokoza izintombiza ami usuku lwanamhlanje ngibonga nonke ukungilalela nokungithanda ngoba nami ngoba nami ngiyanithanda kakhulu Ngicelo kuba ngiphothule uthando engnalo lumi kanje ngiyanizwa futhi ngiyanilalela
Even Fisuku Paramisa or Woody mean and Funu was thinking I seven seven Zelani, Nami. Zenvara <laughs> Nangu nduna kankulu kwa zulu ushe zilapa etu ze kwa ame. Aga zensu iso sino mtu ana siti. E tina sabi mtu tina. E tina kukuti tina. Kune male hampi ntashinge inlapa tina. Kwa wana izi ntegi kanja alu futi. Nabantu enganye na abo. Aba kule lwa mine sbambi sene na abo. Agas beba tuge da baba tu kutoa tuwa zonke inzu kuti na ngaloko zulumiama zimbali zisizwe kutuba ni kutuba ni abona asbafiseli luto olubi na manjenga shuguti ekaya kusekaya babu ekaya. Bawaze beti puti benga tani. Hey! 
Sikezi sikulu umane na besu ilo Lento yuguti Aiki tenzi manjengo kumugele Aba mugele Asba zunt Asba kaba ngeli luto lubi Yize bona besu kaba ngelo uvi Ngaso sonki skati Siba lindi li Shalo zabo zikona laika Zukatwa mtu Baishi bamba baishi ya Zi emti kutimu babu yebezo ikuwa lisa Ngaloko ni nabesilo Ngiti ukolo alube kona Ukutaza elu nkulu kakulu Alube kona ukolo nukwisana Nukbamba anaji Ngoba siyatinga na sonke sisi izwe Wongu mtu ni kaza lake la Ngoba sila Nonke nbali legile Nke luguti Sasa Duya kube kushe Lokota ngeazi kukona bazo hamba na msa nje Ukufisa nje I logoto Inge la Enge mkwa kwini Epepile Nge imoto Enyobe na hamba ngazo Seni pindisa Seni pindela ema kaya Nisbonge lega kulu kubaza libinu Uguti Beye tembe inzu nkulu Benge tembe nami Beme tembe nuhulumini Uguti bentumele nize Nize mkosini Umkulu gangaga Nobalege gangaga Ngaluku Nisbonge le makaya Nkeluti nipakami sefuti Okulu bonga Welga malume, welga mswati, ingonyama, ya siswazini, esi bambise nena yo kakulu, itumele na yo izi ntumbi, uguba zizo bungasa, kanyenati, siya bonga kakulu, kitangalomu sabati, nukutumela izi nduna zako, kitangalwezwe, Uguti sizo bambi sana Gulo mslanga ngoba ngyazi Uguti lezi nito mpinje ngoba zila Nazo isuga kwa wazo mslanga Omunye ngape swazini Esponga kaku luguti na kona kambega atle Uguze pumele luguti na mslanje Befige bezo bungaza kanyenati Sia bunga kaku ni nabokunene Sengputula Mtokoza kakulu Mbonge gini nonke zimbalize sizwe Uguti Niganye nami Njengo ba nami Niganye nani Asibamba nesibe mwenye Intela ea pambili Nginufisela Intela entle Nukpala Okanyayo Baba pala yo ngoba Sikisonde lezo ni kati zo pala lezi Ngoba ni kobe gila matreke na mtanji Kumtanda zo no mkulego Engkaba nguti Agu kukuyo nipaza miswa Nonke ni yo pala gase gilo nyaga Nise la po mbonga kakulu kumnyango Weze mfundo Esibambi sene na o Lape mtange na mtange Nia togoza kakulu Emiyangwe ni weze mfundo Sengpotula, sengvala Mbonga uguti ni nglalele Nisabele Ngi nkosi yinu Koto angkizi esichalwe ni sgababa Aksi isi samle sisalo Sgababa Mbambele na mbangila Ngako nami Nkizi guso Ngento nipo Nogwe saba Nogu ikuza Ngasu sonki skati Ogu nyebe nfisa nje Valilisa na ngako Nencha Imbali za giti Koni tega shu mtu ana Wakwa pundu na kulu 
ukuthi angathi abesifazane sebe phuza kakhulu kwedlula thi namadoda kwenzeka kanjani tenjalo ngakho ke ngiyani khuza zimbali ukuthi qhelane kulokho liyabhubha izwe uma ku umi kanjalo ngethuke kakhulu ukuthi abesifazane sebe phuza kwedlula thina singamadoda ngalokho ngiyakhuza akwehle idimoni le idakamizwa asisho ukuthi abantu bengayijabulise ngiyabonga kakhulu ngibonge umnyango wakwa health ngibonge umnyango wakwa protection usaps ukuthi magayi konke kuhambe ngomthetho siyathokoza kakhulu ngibonge kakhulu kommama no baba ababheke intombi nabaphekayo kanjalo kanjalo ngiyabonga bonke abafake isandla nochaso sukela ko usoma business abazimele ukwenza lo msebenzi omhle nomkhulu noyisibusisa kangaka ukuthi ube impumelelo ngalokho ngithi ngiyathokoza kakhulu zulo mnyama inkosini bosiswe
Tanga Lung Sabat. When no gangers will like Makeba Simona Isa Sasa Ongaga Sulibone Askaz Spone in Tombis Chabule Gangaga Askaz Spone is in Tombi is in Balsesiswe Zitaga Senga no Shogo Shangalum Tabati Sibonga Kulu Sia Tomos and Daba Sibonga <laughs> Sibonga ugula lela gentaga so. Sibonga ituba eli segangaga. Ni chabulele isilo senu. Ni chabulele imkosi. Abantuana izingane si azuguti. Sangalom shabati. Ziezone. Uponza kama poze la jepezulu. Agusha sona is tunes, but Zingane Zami Agusha is tunes, the central nipo Uponza Lelo Poche, Langias good in Kombisuwe Sasa, Gias good in Benzamu Kombisuwe Nama, Kotua Sisiwe Eskabe Gento Nipo, Gento Bego, Sazuaganjan Ascends and Janoge, Zingane Zawait. Uzo uzo tetelwa kutili kumtanga la imani ge ganga ne asifalele umtuana utulani sinomtuana abenze umsebenzo mkulu ndaba enjunkulu basebenza banga lala abantuana basenjunkulu basebenza banga lala abana webesilo basebenza banga lala injovgazi ukwabini wafuga wamusha. Wasebenza wanga lala umtu ana wagwapinda ngene. Sitinko si isti nelebona. Aba gwenze kule skatsa manje. Koto wa gwatinga pezgwe zinto zonke. Makaye. Wase uzo iti nsegisa. Ugutingege gwenze luto. Uma u president u Cyril Ramaphosa. Esete asika telento. Eshilo umtu ana wagwapinda ngene. Wata ikato elento. Sika tenjenga no umtu ana. Naku Nam Sanje says it is Suelile 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 Ntanutulan Sibongel Bayete Sangalum Sabati Ntelaje Bandabam Niti Gozo Lolongoba Mangetu Bonga Nzobesen Charlie Lea Hubo Elit in the Besita or Nen Wenenzin Angela ni sale pansi, angela ni sale pansi, sila lele, sile schoolu, changu lom shabati, angale wingo ni yama etung, pagam sama zokbo ngasilo, mabalen jabule si bonala, ikombisuguti amanjo kosi ungulungulu wa begi leguwe, nuguti silo wa shala, esinye ni sentro fugazi, uvele wingo si changu lom shabati. Jobe besho nju mduwa noga pindange nuguti Ngomshaka 29 uyo nigesu wanje istifigeti Ukufakazi mshaba ayuguti uyo obegwa silo ngoba Waza lubegi iwe Sibonga yonke le msebe nzige nju ngonya muguti ngeskati sako Nangeskati setu usbon sogu ule Sia togoza na mazu yu osi nigewo na weno mnyama Ngise kumduwa na waga pindange ne Ndabezi itandu nangkuluga zulu Ngikumbula ngomshaka 8 Kwa gumei kate ingosi ikonjwe nga izolo. Sile skulu kwa gunzi manje. Ngange na lapa kwa kangela enzini. Ngakutolu shanga nzi zanja. Ukulege ngosi ni utibayete. Kwa kusenzi magno mubani. Shukutumja ngatibayete ngoba. Kwa waziwa silu utubu mtu ananje nga izolo. Ngabonu wesha uu ismangaliso. Nga ibuza ngati ngubani minage. Eskunje niso kuba. Ninaami nkulege, ngako kesilo Mduwa nogo pinda nge Nengbongi nkonzo 
yokuze hlisa sengathi ngafika kuthi sonke le nkonzo yokuze hlisa ukuthi sile sikhuluma usukhonjiwe umuntu wekankulu nkulu ukukhombile noma ngabe sikuzala kodwa usuwubaba kethi noma ngabe ingane zakwenu kuhubhu wakho kodwa usuyise kuzo noma ngabe obaba omama bakho kungomama kodwa usuwumiyeni kubo ngoba usuwenze imisebenzi yomuyeni wabo ngeke balale bengahlile ukhona silo inkonzo yokuze hlisa uma usuphakanyisiwe uphezwa wonke umuntu useduze kaNkulu Nkulu sithokotha kakhulu umntwana wakaphinda ngene okukhombisile imisebenzi yakho engebalwe uNkulu Nkulu esikholwa ukuthi ukubekele yona ukuphila kwakho eh ndabezitha akekho wazi obukayo nongazi ukuthi kufanele ukuthi ngabe mhlawumbe ngokwa ngokwendalo nje mhlawumbe uNkulu Nkulu usiwaqoqa kodwa well, it's been an absolutely beautiful day and what started out to be sunny seems like the weather is going to take a turn for the worst with clouds on the horizon. But you know what they say about rain in Africa? When it rains, it's blessings. And we've just heard the address by His Majesty King Mrs. Zulu Kazuelitini speaking to the young maidens here at Enyogeni Royal Palace. Bongani? What were some of the highlights that you took away from His Majesty's speech? Well, Jade, I mean, after a very long, exciting, colorful day, uh, uh, the King brought uh, the event to an end. I think, as expected, Jade, uh, he spoke about gender-based violence. I think you'll remember at his first, the first leg of the annual read dance, that was the main focus of his speech. I mean, he voiced his shame that, you know, our province is, is, is number one in the country when it comes to gender-based violence. And very important for me is that he said um, him and his wife, uh, Queen Olamaisela, uh, are now going to work together, you know, to formulate some sort of program to also take part, you know, in this fight against gender-based violence. He didn't say what sort of program they are going to be uh, initiating with his wife, but he said that, uh, you know, the Queen already has something, so he's merely just joining. And then Jade, he spoke about, and, you know, or rather, he advised the maiden to stay away from things like, you know, alcohol, you know, drugs, you know, he said uh, those things will kill their future. Of course, uh, Jade, he said he was happy to see so many maidens. He said for the first time in his life, he said it was the first time seeing so many maidens. So for him, he said that he's happy that so many maidens came out to be part of this uh, ceremony. You remember that this is his second uh, read dance now uh, since he officially became king after doing the, uh, the crowd entering ceremony. So he said he's happy. He thanked everyone, you know, who participated. In fact, the minders, he said he thanked everyone who went out to make sure that these minders do come, you know, to this specific um, ceremony. And he also again sends his condolences uh, to the princess royal family who know have lost their queen and also uh, sends his well wishes uh, to uh, King Charles III. And it's going to be very interesting once the coronation takes place on the 29th of October at the Moses Mabedia Stadium. Who exactly from the royal family abroad will be joining in and all the fun? Um, for me, Bongani, you know what stood out was the absolute adoration and love that the maidens have for their king, but also just listening in on what he has to say. You know, I was just speaking to Terry Mkleche. He is the chairperson of the Mrs. Zulu Foundation, and he was saying that he's going to to lead and live the legacy of his father, the former king. And he's going to ensure that the young girls from these ranks are able to go and further their studies. He's going to be giving them bursaries. So also, once again, they're also looking at their, their careers, looking at education, and much like you were saying, but not only tackling the GBV and societal issues that we have, because this read dance is not only about purity, it's also about creating and forming and shaping young girls but also young boys anything at all that he had maybe touched on um, advising young men in our country when we look at the scourge of gender-based violence in the country Bongani I think uh, the king in his speech his main focus was on the girls uh, on our trade remember that uh, even as his first read dance he did say that's a read dance he wants it to be a day to be focused on the young maidens because it's their day it's their celebration all the focus should be on them so I think a huge challenge of his speech, JD just gave it to the young maidens. Well, it's been a fantastic day and it's been quite a long day for myself and Bangani giving you rolling coverage of what's happening here in Nongoma at Enyogeni Royal Palace. So, Bangani, 
Last sentiments and thoughts on this day. One highlight for you that stood out before we hand back to Francis in the studio. You know, Jade, for me, it's the unending energy that these young girls have. I mean, since morning, they've been singing, they've been dancing. They are still doing the same thing now. And their excitement, their pride, you know, being here for them is like everything. You know, you cannot take them away from here. I think, for me, I'm, I'm hungry as I speak. I mean, we've been here since 7 o'clock. It was sunny when you got here. It's very chilly now. But you can see them, you know. They are, they, they are not showing any signs of that they are tired, they are not fatigued. In fact, they are still going to be here tomorrow morning. Some of them, the king said, are living now, but we know that most of them are going to sleep over. They will be waking up here again tomorrow morning. And the energy really has been electrifying on the ground here, covering with blow, blah, blow. Well, from Boganin Gema and myself, Jade, it's back to you, Francis, in studio. <laughs> Kulunge kakulu, ngoba kushuti lesi sibaya singane kakulu, kia ufune uba sivulwe, sichola kakulu mabuto. O mama bespiti piti, bakona, umpakati nje wonke, nenga mbo nganga, bafundi isi nkina ngani nga mabumu, konte ngfunu wikotla sengvala. Ngo 2018, manga bingo sivuli palamende, isilu mlogo mbani. Kwa sugunyo kwa shayo wa ihubo lesi izu, lakate wa tu watu, Ngang bona kui program utu ya inga bona ya inga fagwa ng opening prayer. Mai sisi zo kulumingo si afiki ya chai anguazu vulu mlo mwa menga tanda za ipamla mende la kala pants la kulega. Maji gani shonga bang boni le la guti program iti binge na opening prayer. Kora ni ababu mo MC ba namsha shonga ba ba guazu lugu ti aiki kinte kalo nga pants lugo mkulego la ikai. Kubangu good la nje si bonga nje good la tinage esaba nitatla ukala ne sileta flin. Mbaka kuna una kulu inda ba baza ba kipu ba kulu inda ba gaza ba chale ne sileta flin bethi na sokota ba zanza ba daba kulu la panga pansi ba ba chale mtetu. Ibeti kwenye nyama asivala mesho siti sbongu la ifeli kalo ikalo kutanda zula la nuko ibongu la alibolu nuko vugu bonti iya kulega ngempeli si kulega ogwa ngempeli. Kuzek Paulu kutoa spege si tausa faindla. Nishuti gonya mbi kulega. Uma nga kota lu mkulego laikaya. Si peli lele sisi. Ngeze lukbonga umdu anumbong seni mbonge. Umama unotlantla. Waka social development uti. Nomi programu. Inge na opening prayer. Ni pule ba nkolele na lababa nga ifagang. Nya togo za kakulu. Se nkulume kakulu. Mbonga kakulu. Nbonga ngonge. Nkalari ntombi, ziparame, nishilongati zizo shai hubo. Dabezi itawone nguwe nenshini. Wena wesilo. Wena wesilo. Dabezi ita. Dabezi ita. Napamu kukubas hube ntombi ngela nishele. Nishele kashama laini. Sesana. Besar saya sanje. Sesan. Izin ganes amis besar saya sanje. Sesan. Si fisa ubong gak kulu, unjung kulu, uga mai sen. Go. Wendom. Ngalan buyelo Tony Po. Gemas Kolo Foundation. Ego aze. Sesan. Umigeza intombi ezu nine thousand. Ya zipa. Imba shaya yopela le Yoguti no mangabe use nfuguini Ube gase Sia bonga Imenjalo Injungkulu Amenjalo Injungkulu gama isela Ne maskolo foundation Gognagege la bantu anabetu Bama ntomba zani Noga te pume Enga zange altole Izindo ekaya Kotwa imaskolo foundation imnigili Ogunye, sitandu bonga, bonke o maspala. O maspala bonke. Nge kaza, abalbambile. Iga kulu leze zinye njindombi, ama pasi aletwe o maspala bazo. Sibonga bonke o maspala, ngonga ketegi, ngonga zenzisi. Ndama. Enawe silo. Wena wesilo Ndabesita Ndabesita Ugandaba Wathani kwa beti Masake nengawe nko 
Kunyama Dave Sita Onani Gwenezi Atange Nenga
Mi Yazuguti. Um seven has been some for no cobega says the thing about O Escombe Tatu Kesuake, Kusagazo, Kuse Guse, Kusakai. Benzo Tige is me, Mamelo Doctrine, Sponge, Gumaspala or Nongoma, Ogusai Sasa, and Umparatuala Poso to Gusai Sasa, Obuxa Lubasic Ball. In Dombizias, the Pay Langa Corner. Ama buto ayaz da pa azo anga kona gota ama i menyoze ngonyam na ndi tendi lipambu kwetu na bato na bengosi na makosi bonge bazo ya kona bongo tosha kona ogu yanga setunji baed we na we silo we na we silo da vesita da vesita yeah!